Is there a doctor in the house? I'm, I'm a doctor. Can, can you help me, sir? I have not done a YouTube video on my YouTube channel in over two months, and I need to make content. Uh, sure. Do you have insurance? No, I do not. Oh. We're getting real political. But no worries. We cut through the red tape and talk to Dr. Ryan Reed, who will take a crack on your back and talk about video games and achievements and Neopets and Persona 5 and so many video games. Please just smash that like button. I need your views. I need your content. Aren't I relatable? Fidget spinners. I am back on my YouTube channel. I finally remembered my password. What I am here. It, it is, uh, I'm not gonna say, I'll have to right. change it again. It's Hot Dogs 22, but the, you have to do capital H and then a zero and then Hot Dogs 22. Okay. So if you wanna make some videos and upload on my YouTube channel, you're more than welcome. I'm here with Dr. Thank you. Ryan Reed. What is your doctor proficiency? What is I'm your- I'm a, I have a doctorate in chiropractic medicine. Cool. I'm a chiropractor. Chiropractic <laughs> medicine. You're a master, journeyman, apprentice. What's like the World of Warcraft? Uh, uh, Zen master. Zen master and chiropractic. Chiro I yeah, uh, my chiropractic is really good, but it stops at uh, Miss Append area. Cool. Ryan lives. You live in Oregon. Right? Yeah. Okay. Southern cool. Oregon. So now you're you're in San Diego this weekend. Um. So normally we'll show off your collection, but I, I ain't got that here. But just off the top of your head, real loose. Um. What are some of your favorite games of all time? You don't have to go deep, but just some of your favorite games of all time that might be in your collection. Uh, favorite game of all time is probably still Eternal Darkness and his Requiem. Oh, you, see, you got that. You got, the, you got that yep, in your collection. Yeah, you got that physically. Okay, it's only to play that. Uh, Kirby's Adventure for any or NES. Oh wow, do you have got, that physical? Absolutely. Oh shit. Okay. I'm trying to think what I have physically yeah, yeah, in yeah. my collection. That any are any games. rare or weird games you have uh, in your collection or I, items? Oof. I have. Okay, this is not a video game, yeah, but it's probably yeah. the worst thing I was. I have a VHS copy of The Wizard from South Korea. Wow. Okay, that's pretty. But cool. uh, video game wise, uh, I don't know. I like I like doing like complete boxings. Like, of course, nice. I have to have. I have Doctor Mario complete in box. Oh, that's cool. That's right. I have Act Razor complete in box. That's a really good one. Um, I own Incredible Crisis on PS One. That's kind of rare. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just weird shit that I found. Cool. You know, I, I know everywhere. you had a giant DVD collection. Do you still have that or did you get rid of that? No, I still have all my DVDs. You have a massive DVD collection? I still How? have Attack the Gas Station What's, on DVD. Oh, that's a good, oh that's, that is rare. Uh, what is the scale and scope of your game collection? Do you like have shitload? Do you have buckets? Do you have it in book, bookshelves? Uh, I have it in drawers in a special... Uh, uh, ward not wardrobe. What's yeah. what I'm looking for? Dresser. Yeah. And I have a couple you know, like on the sides of like my entertainment center. But I just have a ton of shit. I have a lot of NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, GameCube. Uh, not very. Not yeah. a lot of PS One because I didn't really yeah. do that time. PS Two is okay, and then just like a shit ton of like, you know, we three. Yeah. I think my biggest part of my collection is probably Game Boy, GBA, Game and Three S. I when I was kind of like a teenager, I think I kind of stopped playing a lot of console games and I got, yeah. I played way more mobile. Um, mobile. Actually, you know what? Yeah. That's the rarest game I probably have is I have complete in box Boktai 2. What's Boktai 2? What system is that for? Uh, GBA. Did you ever okay. play Boktai? Uh -uh. Boktai was the game that um, uh, Kojima made that's got the little uh, sun sensor. Oh, wow. And you have to, you're a vampire, uh, vampire solar Django boy. And you've got a gun that shoots sunlight at other bad vampires because you're a good daywalker vampire. There you go. And you have to play it in the sunlight <laughs> to fill up your... Have you never heard no, of this? No, I've never heard of that. Yeah, you have to... You actually... Like, I I, I lost my copy of Boktai 1 mm -hmm. somewhere in a move. But it's got a little... It hangs up the side and it's got a little, uh, like, solar sensor. Yeah. And you shoot your gun and use up your solar power. And to actually fill it up, you have to go and put your game into the sun mm -hmm. to fill it up. <laughs> cool. Well, there you go. So you have that. Uh, what you should do is when you get back, when you get the chance, on your own YouTube channel, do a little yeah. tour of your game collection. Okay. I'd like to see that. I'll take it all out and like put it on. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll link. I'll link your YouTube channel below. Um, anyways, Ryan Reed. A lot of people, if you subscribe to me, you know who Ryan is. Do you even go by the reflection anymore? No. That's your Twitter name. I, there, no, it's not. No, it's not. What is it's it? It's Dr. Ryan. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Finally, for, for fucking, ever since I got one. 
after I graduated uh, med school, I was like, I want to be Dr. Ryan. Somebody had dr underscore Ryan, and it was just some guy that tweeted like twice. And I, I would message him every six months. Can I please have this name? Can I please have this name? Oh and it, uh, uh, about six months ago, I finally got a tweet. Yep. And it was like, oh shit, I got to go get this Jumped really quick. Where, but, did, where did the reflection come from? What does that username mean? Is that an anime thing? No. What's it? What it's is a it? wrestler. Okay, it's a wrestler. Yeah. Wait. Uh, so when I was from the age of uh, ten to twenty, I was heavily into martial arts. Nice. I have a I have a black belt and all that fun shit. Cool. Um, and <laughs> I decided, you know, it'd be fun amateur MMA. Oh, you did that? You tried yeah, that? Wow. Yeah. Do you know some moves? I mean, you know some yeah. back break, back cracks. So I had a couple cage fights, um, and I needed a, my the the guy that ran my karate studio was yeah. like, you should have a cool fight nickname. I was like, hell yeah, I the should. Reflection. And the reflection came from the reflection of perfection, Mark Jindrak, who was okay. a professional wrestler who sucked. Yeah. But I thought the name was cool, so I stole the reflection of perfection, and then I didn't start using it online until I signed up for the Mega Sixty Forums. The reflection. And I knew it was like before that my old YouTube username. Was Ronan Outlaw? That's right. That's right. I remember Ronan Outlaw. Because when I was twelve or thirteen, I needed to like pick a name for Game Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was at the time that I signed up. I was at home. Toonami was on. Nice. And I was like, I want to be cool because Japanese stuff is the coolest. And you got the cool so Game I, Facts. Yeah. So I was like, I got to be a Ronan because they're masterless yeah, yeah, samurai. Yeah. And Outlaw Star was on. Cool. And so I was Ronin like, Outlaw. Ronan Outlaw. Yeah, because I'm a Ronan and I'm an Outlaw. Woo! The name is fucking terrible. What's your your PlayStation name now? Is like Doctor Doctor Pepper. So, <laughs> yeah, only because my original Xbox name got stolen, and that was Ritual Beating. Yeah. That I changed to Count Pizzola yeah. because of you. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no. Now it's Doctor Doctor Pepper there you go. because, and that was only because the when when my Xbox account got stolen. We can get into that. Yeah. I've, I've told that yeah. story enough. Uh, there was a free pack for another avatar of just a Dr. Pepper logo. Oh, okay. So I was just like, yeah, Dr. Dr. Pepper, that's funny. It. I'm okay with that one, though. No, that's that good. One, My yeah. history of usernames on the internet was when I first like, got on the internet when I was like 8, 9, or 10. Yeah. It was CyberFranks2003. <laughs> and I made that username like in 2001 with the thought of like, you know, if I pick my username to be some far off year, yeah. it won't age as badly. Yeah. So in 2001, I made the username CyberFranks2003. So I thought I was thinking... Far off year. Yeah, 2003. And then on Newgrounds, I was first Resident Evil fan. That was my username. <laughs> Resident Evil fan. And then I got into wrestling. So my first gamer tag was WrestleManiac. That's a great that's fucking... A, that's a good name. Yeah. Russell... You know, wait, wait. Can I... I'm sorry to yeah. cut in. Rodan Atwell was not my very first okay. username. What was it? Because uh, it's wrestling related. Yeah. The Mr. Degeneration X. <laughs> the Mr. Degeneration X. Okay. That's good. Uh, and then WrestleManiac. And Hell then yeah. And then I changed that on Xbox Live and Newgrounds to Mick Foliac. Mick Foliac. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, that was a maniac, you know, we, not just wrestling, but for Mick we Foley. We know someone who knows Mick, who's met Mick Foley. Hell yeah. And you know, you know Eric the Doc, Eric Bayer. Yeah. He, because he's from Long Island, yeah, apparently yeah. went either with the summer camp, I think, with one of Mick Foley's kids. Ooh, thank and you. they were, you know, friends or knew yeah, each yeah. other and said, yeah, Mick Foley used to pick him up and be like, hey, it's Mick Foley. And then from after Mick Foley, that's when, like, finally, by the time I was in, like, j late junior high high school, that's when I, was, I just started using Frank or Frank Howley for every year. When were you KRQ Frank? Oh, that's like, right. So that was. That's when I met you. You were KRQ That was Frank. junior high. I was K Rock Frank because I became friends with this radio station up in LA and I got to go on the radio when I was like a teenager. <laughs> that was like my, oh man, I'm all about this. So I was K Rock Frank for a while. Again, that was also because I got locked out of my AIM username, my AIM <laughs> profile. <laughs> I couldn't remember my password, so I, I quickly made a username, whatever. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. this is a video game podcast. That was a great... No, this is an early 2000s... <laughs> early 2000s internet podcast. Yeah, everyone in the comments, you know, please write in what was your first username, what's your username yeah. history. I want to I want to give back to the people you can be involved I too. love talking about other people's <laughs> old usernames. Um, anyways. Video games. Um, what was your first game console? NES. NES, Nintendo. Did you have siblings? Yeah, I had my... my younger when, or older? Uh, younger. My sister's, what... Three and a, like four yeah. years younger than Did me. Did you play games with them? Were they into games? Uh, I mean, not on the NES and Super. I think once we got to like PS One, my dad oh, wow. really liked playing games with me, but he liked racing games. Okay. So he don't whatever it was like. Whenever I get a console, mm -hmm. it's like, what's the new racing game? I'll go buy it and I'll buy a couple controllers so me, him, and her could all play together. So so on Nintendo. Oh, and well, my sister and I played Mario Party a lot. Okay, cool. Sorry. So what was like your favorite games on Nintendo? On up? NES, yeah, Kirby's Adventure. Mm -hmm. 
Super Mario Brothers 2 because that's the first yeah. game I had ever beaten in my entire life, and I beat it with my uh, my papa. Nice. I talked about Older, this on. How old were you? Oh, uh, six or okay, seven okay. or eight. Okay. No, no, probably six or seven. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, that's my grandpa, my papa was really into. I'm just gonna say papa yeah. from now. On. He was really into NES games. Like when it first came out, he got one. He had hand drawn maps for the Legend of Zelda. Oh wow! And like Final Fantasy and yeah, everything. Yeah. And so he was like, uh, "Do you want to play a game with me?" He's like, "Yeah, it's Super Mario Brothers 2. And we beat that whole game in one sitting. I was like, <laughs> "Oh god!" And that's what really kind of kind of hooked me into video games. Okay, so then moving a little bit forward on Super Nintendo, what were some of your favorite games on Super Nintendo? I mean, you go with the classics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Super Mario World, a Link to the Past, um, Maximum Carnage. Was that was Maximum Carnage the the beat 'em up where you're like Spider Man and Venom beat 'em up? Yeah, that was yeah. Uh, what else was good? I on remember that? that game was too hard for me. I See, the thing game. is, when it comes to Super Nintendo, I actually had a Genesis before I had a Super oh, okay. Nintendo. Okay. Because um, I went to the store one. I I got a hundred dollars for my birthday one year, uh, and I was like, I'm gonna go buy a couple NES games. And for some reason, it was like you can get a Genesis for a hundred bucks. Oh. So shoot. I bought my own Genesis, and I got Sonic Two, Animaniacs, and Booger Man. <laughs> Good title, good collection. Yeah. Uh, I had the Animaniacs game for Super Nintendo. I've never beaten that fucking game because there was a part in that game. And I'd, I know if I go yeah. back now, yeah, I'd be able uh, to yeah, do yeah. it. There was a part in this game where there was like a jump that it was just like, I don't fucking know what to do. I can't fucking, uh, I can't fucking do this. There was, I had so many games on Super Nintendo. That was my first console. I had so yeah. many licensed games that I never knew how to beat. I've talked about like RoboCop 3. I never got past the first stage. I had some Bugs Bunny, like Elmer Fudd hunting game. I never got past the first stage. Animaniacs, I never got past like, I was a kid. They never explained anything. I never knew how to beat these games. Games are, were so fucking hard back then too. Cause it was just like, it wasn't just go from point A to point yeah. B. It was... Oh, but you know, there's you got to go under this bridge. But okay, nothing is pointing me yeah. to this fucking bridge. I even try. I like I, like Josie and I. We watched the Pocahontas movie like a year ago, and I just for fun, I thought I would download and play the Pocahontas Genesis game. I didn't know they what the fuck to do, dude. The fucking <laughs> Lion King Genesis game is the hardest motherfucking game ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I've never beat that game. But uh, the Aladdin Super Nintendo game, that one's really good. See, I had Aladdin on Genesis. Oh, it's two completely different game. Um, yeah, I didn't I didn't I wasn't a Genesis kid growing up. But anyways, fast forward, most important part. Let's fast forward. What is your history with PAX? Because this is how I met you. Yeah. You're a Northwestern boy. When did you move, when did you move from San Diego to Oregon or Seattle? 96. My 96. parents uh, were just like, it was, my dad was out of, had become a doctor. Yeah. And there were so many doctors down here that it was hard to really, you know, really do anything. Yeah. And his best friend in school, his dad was up from the Southern Oregon area. And so he moved up there and he told my dad, like, you got to move up there. There's like two doctors. Too, we'll so take, much money to make. We will take this town there over. There you go. So in 96, we moved up. And uh, I, I mean, what's we, 20, 20, uh, blah. It's been almost, it's been over 2017 now. Yeah. So yeah, I've lived up there for 20 years. Um, so what was the first PAX that you went to? That first PAX was, uh, I love telling this story. The reason that I'm friends with you and Mega64 so and everything is because of to? PAX was in 2008 because George W. Bush gave everybody $600. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And so I got this $600 check, and I was like, I've always wanted to go to PAX. Because yeah. back then, I really liked Penny Arcade. Mm -hmm. It was like, I should go to PAX. It's there. It'd be fun. And at this point, it was the only PAX. And again, for its time, before PAX came out, there was like E3, and that and like that was it. That like was there, it. there wasn't video game conventions for the people. Not really. It wasn't blowing up. There was like Anime Expo, Comic-Con. There was Comic-Con. Like, Comic there wasn't like a mass yeah. ma market consumer video game convention. And, and it was so in the PAX Pacific was Northwest. The yeah. It was there. And it was... I want to go. I was already fan of Mega 64, and they're like, they're, they said, you know, we're going to be showing episodes of version yeah. three, yeah. which had still had not come out at that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go. And we met because I there was a train ride up and yeah. down. I was like, all right, I'll take that. And just walking through, I was like, oh, shit, you're Frank. Yeah. And he and you were just like, oh, hey, what's up? Did you know me from uh, the Mega sixty forums or Lou Links or how did you know me? How did you recognize me? You were in Mega sixty four videos. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You'd been on the podcast, right? Okay, cool. So, and I, I have no problem saying this now. Full disclosure: I used to be an obsessive Mega sixty four. Oh, everyone like was yeah, one of those were, yeah, yeah. annoying yeah, 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 yeah. kids. Yeah, I was like, oh, Mega sixty four is uh, like if you go back to the early early podcast when they still used to take yeah. calls. Yeah, like. Uh, you know, like they call people on their cell yeah. phone. I called Rocco back after he hung up on me, which is the thing you're not supposed yeah. to do. 
because uh, I'm a piece of shit. Um, but yeah, I was hard into it, and I was like, I'm, you know, so I knew exactly who you were, and I play, I tried to play cool. I was like, oh hey, you're Frank, and it sounded so, like you're Frank, you're the, you know. <laughs> so, so my con- my ta- context going into it, um, like I always, so I lived in Southern California. I always went to San Diego Comic Con, PAX. I, w- I really wanted to go to PAX. I was think that your first one? That was my first one. 2008. Yeah, so I was still in high school. Uh, it was summer, and like in order to save money from instead of flying, I took the train up. Yeah. Because it was like significantly cheaper. Yeah. And like on the PAX message boards, there was a thread like, "Hey, the, we're- the Great West Coast Train Trip." I have a fucking shirt from that. Nice. So what it was, it was like a bunch of nerds from the PAX forums, like, "Hey, we're all gonna ride this train together. It'll be really fun, and we're all gonna go on together." And again, I was a kid. I was like 15 or 16, traveling by myself. I thought, you know what, Fuck. I'm gonna. I was 23. <laughs> I thought we were close to the same age. I didn't know until now. I was so much older. Yeah, than yeah. Me. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna go on this train full of nerds, go up to PAX. And like everyone on that train, not they were terrible, but it was like obnoxious internet it nerds. It was pretty bad. So I just I just huddled in a corner and watched like TV on my yeah. laptop. Uh, you had it worse Ryan. than me because I had a, it was a twelve hour journey from Southern Oregon. Yours was like a two day thirty six hours oh. or something. Yeah, like it sucked. I never did that again. No, but so I met Ryan and I, I was, met you on the way up. And I, being the fucking dumbass that I was, brought like six bags of of Sabertones because that was the fun yeah, joke yeah, at the yeah, time. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. And I gave you one, and you're like, "Oh, cool, thanks." Yeah, dude, free food. I'm always down for free food. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we went to Pax. That was my first Pax, and because I met you on the train, we kind of hung out and like we hung out on the last day because we finally like I I. Uh, I never saw you again until that early Sunday morning. We just bumped into each other. Yeah. And you're like, oh, you're that guy. Yeah. It's like, yeah, what are you doing? It's like, hey, we're just going to hang out. And yeah. it was you and, um, oh, fuck, what was his name? Mozzie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. that guy? Yeah. So, like, so that, that's, that's not something I want to talk about is, like, convention culture. So, again, when I was, like, younger in high school, like, also even starting college, like, me and a bunch of other friends on the internet, we would go to conventions. We'd fly out to conventions, mm. hang out with all of our friends for that weekend. Yeah. And, like, eventually we all got burnt out on it. But I remember it was fun. Like, we'd have friends fly out to Comic-Con. We'd have friends fly out to PAX. It was those, yeah. Uh, it was the golden years of, like, 2010 to 2012. Yeah, yeah. It was three years of, and the one that always makes me remind me of it is the very first PAX East. Yeah. When it was like a fucking lawless West where we just did whatever the fuck. Okay, it's okay. So that's what it is with conventions. Everything's like there and pretty orderly. And like people, like companies are there to market shit. So companies are looking to give away free shit. Most people who go to video game conventions are like shy. And that's totally fine. Like I, totally, I'm like an. It's so funny. Yeah. I've become such an introvert now that I'm older. But it's like I get it. Which is weird. When you're, I know. I have we were, not. we were so obnoxious. We were fucking. So the worst. Here it is. We we have like our convention groups where we go to conventions. We grow to like 20 people. Yeah. We would fucking storm the convention, take as much free shit. We would run in the contest. We would scream. We were so loud and obnoxious. <clears throat> we dominated the floor. Do you remember? I think I don't think it was at the 20. I don't remember if it was the. Yeah. No. It was. It was at. Pax West, yeah. I think, when you and I did Just Dance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We would, again, like, and that, this was the wave of when, like, Rock Band was just new and they would have And they'd have rock people band. come up, but it would all be just be people like, hey, you want to play Rock Band? Yeah. And they'd be like, eh, Mildly uh, singing. Yeah. And singing, we'd come up with drums. our Thunderball and of energy would, and fucking scream and be obnoxious. It, it, the, but, the, like, the marketing people would love it because we're Oh, yeah. Because they're like, yeah. everyone, look at this. Yeah. We started, that was the year that you and I did Hot and Cold. At just dance because yeah. the people before were just doing their dances, yeah, and they were kind of whatever, and then they get off stage, and we can't be and like, people walk by and they look for a yeah. second. We got on and we started singing along and getting fucking into it. There was a crowd of yeah, about a yeah. hundred yeah. people that was blocking hallways yeah. because you couldn't fucking get through because yeah. we were just fucking partying. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun. Um, oh man, those were the best. Uh, but one thing, other thing for conventions is you would win a lot of free shit. I won so much free. What is shit. your history of winning shit at conventions? It. Uh, <laughs> Um, so that, it all starts with that first year. I won a PS3. I won. How'd you win the PS3? I went to the, okay, so Hothead Games was a studio that was making the, um. (laughs) That's such a dumb It's such a fucking dumb They were the ones making the Penny Arcade video game. Okay, okay. And they did uh, a contest. It was look under your chair and there'll be a, you know, whoever's got this got it. And it happened to be under the chair of, they put it accidentally under the chair of where one of the developers was sitting. Oh, Jesus. So they're like, we have a question about the game, first person to answer. And I just finished the game because it was, I have this thing whenever I, you know, and I'm assuming a lot of people do this, but when when PAX was coming up, I would get heavy into Penny Arcade. I would watch the PAX DVDs. I would want to play the PAX, even if I've already beat it, I would want to play the PAX game again or the Penny Arcade game. It gets that year with, with game days every year. About the week before game days, I watch version one, two, and three. Oh, wow. Over, yeah, yeah. You know, just to yeah, get into yeah, the mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I just played the game, so I knew the, the question, which was, 
they had a little twenty sided die in on like the yeah. The, what's the four hundred dollar question? What was if it? if it was on like the select screen or whatever, there was a d20 and if you kept clicking on it you'd eventually hit 20 if you did the little fucking fruit fucker robot would uh either t- turn gold or break out so i said it and they're like great you win i was like oh cool what i win ps3 signed like with custom art by the the what year was this? guys 2010 no 2008 okay that wow was that year. was brand new that was... and also that year i won uh two 3ds's jesus from playing family Fe- they used to have this thing at pax that when they would do tournaments it was you'd get points, yeah, and they had these little actual plastic cards that were like tickets, and they had a like a come and turn them in for points, and they had this convent uh, this one panel in the main room which was Family Feud, yeah, yeah, and I um, um they're like we need people, and there's a couple people in the hand, and I just went I would like to be on it, and they're like we'll we'll pick <laughs> well that that's guy. how that's how stuff at conventions would go, and even like even like at e- the most recent like I think that Pack South when people were demoing the Switch, it's like. They would ask people, who wants to try the Switch? And mild people would raise their hands. Mm. But if you're like, yeah, me, like, if, people will pick Well, you. because they're trying to sell something. So and if you're, they want the excitement, yeah. Yeah. But, it's how I won that $200, $200 mouse. There was that, they had a, a, a contest of who could scream the loudest for the longest that, time. That's for, it was, that's I forgot what awful. it was for. It was for like. That's so awful. And the winner actually won like a, a $200 keyboard. I got second place. <laughs> it was just who can scream the loudest. And it was people going, oh, I'd like to try that. And I went. I would like to do that, please. And so, of course, I got in. <laughs> um, but what else have I won? I won. <laughs> that, that is such an obnoxious idea to have at convention. But yeah, it was literally just ah, yeah, it just yeah. who could go the longest, and I didn't win, but I was okay. I still use that mouse. Yeah. I've won, so I've won a PS3. I've won uh, now at this point four. 3ds's because we won those um the year that we were you there when we were doing the uh scribble knots thing i didn't participate i didn't participate it but i, I saw everyone else i, it, I yeah. gave one of them to garrett because yeah. uh garrett never got the button that won but i had yeah. two of them so i've won four 3ds's i've won countless games i one year won so many games that i didn't care about that i started giving them away to kids wow. like hey kid do you want this copy of blazing squadron angel or whatever Ooh, that fucking burn, yeah, yeah 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 Here, take that Tight. uh i've won headphones i've won skateboards oh shoot uh i remember i think i've won yeah i used to win free shit at conventions too yeah i think i won a skateboard once too. i've won thousands of dollars worth of because it was uh just it was an issue of i'm just gonna enter every fucking contest and also it gets to the point too where you'd win shit but then it's like i don't want to take this back home with me yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then like yeah there you go uh but but that's winning physical stuff. The more more important than winning things in real life yeah. is winning things on a digital realm. Good. So a good th- segue. So the thing I want to talk with Ryan about is uh, Ryan is is formerly an achievement hunter. I don't even like using that term, but like you were achievement crazy. You had yeah. the achievement bug. To be fair, if you got an Xbox 360 when it first came out, everyone was in on it. Everyone was. That in was, on. was the coolest thing in the world. Um, it was the people like me who started playing shitty games just for the That's points. when it got dark. So I remember when like... It got real dark. Yeah, so it's like when 360 came out, holy crap, this achievement thing, that was cool. I remember challenging my friends like in high school or junior yeah, high. Like, we used who, to all the time. Yeah, achievement war. It was, um, <laughs> uh, what was the big game? I think it was Left 4 Dead where it was like, hey, we got to do this thing. You want to help me do this thing? Yeah, it was, it, it was fun. It was fun. Or yeah. like, I'm going to get this game, you get this game, let's see. And at first it was, I wasn't playing games just for achievements. I would play a game and was like, oh... I really like this game. Yeah. I like Assassin's Creed 1. You know what would be fun? Getting all the achievements. Yeah. The thing that set me off on a bad path was when Blockbuster put out those. The 30 game. The, like, it was like, it was, Blockbuster had a thing, and I had it too, where it was like the summer game pass, where it's like for 30 bucks a month. 30 you bucks. Rent, and and, and you unlimited can just, rentals. You can just keep coming anytime, any day. You can have two out at a time, Jeez. and I would just run through every single fucking easy game. Yeah. And it started with that fucking Avatar game that's famous for you can get a thousand. Yeah, Avatar. I have that achievement. The Avatar, Earth. the last Airbender. So Ryan, I went oh. through your achievement list. Yeah. Uh, I, I went through. Just- so we should really talk about just in case, in case yeah. anybody heard. The reason I stopped doing achievements is yes. in 2010 or 2011, my account was stolen by a Russian hacker. Mm-hmm. Like I just like I fished and he got my password and uh, Xbox never gave it back because they said it was an international fraud issue. So I lost my account. 
that had and all your digital licenses. hundreds of dollars of DLC and, and downloadable games. It had a couple thousand points on it, probably like thirty or forty bucks worth of points. But I had the the, the I had like just signed up for another year of live. Oh my God. But I lost it all and I lost my achievements and it. So I stopped at. I don't know if you looked it up, but yeah. I believe my score the, the last time was game fifty five thousand. The last game you were playing was L.A. Noir before it got yeah. taken away. That's also why I don't think I ever finished all around. But what was my score? It was like fifty five thousand. I, I, I did pull up. I'll pull a screenshot. Fifty six thousand. Yeah. It was you know. For its time. At the time, you're talking only four or five years. It wasn't the most. I know there were already yeah. people in there that were up into the hundreds of thousands, but 56, that's 56 completed games. That's still pretty good. It's funny. There's even like services where it's like you could ha ha pay people to complete games for you. Yeah, that I've never understood so that. It's like that defeats the whole purpose. I'm doing this to show that I'm the best. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> well, 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 we'll go down these lists. So some of these are games I'm curious like, what, like essentially, like what oh, was your process of playing them? But also, quick one reviews. other one on yeah. that list. One, did you put one versus one hundred? No, it's going put through. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go down this list. Hey, you know what? When you're done, I'll just think of ones that you didn't sure. bring up. Okay, so the one, the first title I, I saw, on, you're right. in the movies. What the hell is this? And what was the achievement <sighs> process like? What so is you're in, in the movies? movies? Was one of those games that used the Xbox uh, Vision? I don't even know the camera. Called. Okay, yeah. What's it? Was it called the Uno Jerk Off Machine? The Uno Jerk Off Camera. Yeah. And I found that game for two bucks at a game. So um, you paid to, how, long, how many hours? I already, I already had the yeah. uh, camera because yeah, it came yeah, yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, okay, I, so here's the thing. I, that was a game where you wouldn't actually use the, it was one of those like, you know, hit the ball. Okay. You know, do that. It, it took, it, here's the thing. Um, that game I played during one of the hottest summers of Portland and that camera is shit. Yeah. So it only worked in my apartment against like the, I also, like you when yeah. I was that young, had the problem of I need to cover every single inch of yep. my house with like or my posters. apartment with posters. Yeah. So I had one wall that I took down all the posters because it needed a white background, <laughs> but it was so fucking hot that I was playing either in my underwear or completely naked. <laughs> Because I just couldn't. Oh. This corner is the, was the one corner of did my that, house. Also, does that game that didn't save have screenshots? Air did that game save, save screenshots? I got rid of all of oh, them. Oh, you should have kept them. They're hilarious. No, it was my dick, man. Okay, that's so funny. Um, but it was these. It was about ten hours of just sitting there being like, fucking, just go in the thing, go in the thing, and like doing all. I it would be nice if you could pull up like individual achievements. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, and I could talk about the process of. Them. All I remember is just being sweating my balls off. Laying on linoleum in this corner, yeah. just going like this, and then I finally did it. And I was like, "Do you want to see these screenshots?" And it's just my fucking dick. And it's just like, "No, man." Now, get rid when of those you forever. complete a shitty game like that, what is the feeling when you get one thousand? I mean, I'm sure one is, "Thank God, I don't have to play this anymore." But like, was there like genuine pride? Like, you know what? I did that. Or like, what was the feeling? Or was it just misery? It's like, fuck yeah, I'm done. I <clears throat> and we, uh, I've talked about this on. Can I plug? Uh, yeah, Gaming Cold Podcast. Yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about this. I have a relationship with games where I love playing games for fun, but with games like this, it's more like I'm hate fucking the game. Sure. Like I fucking beat you, you piece of shit. Yeah. And like right now on my PS4, when I play shitty games, my favorite thing is deleting them off my hard drive. Okay. It's like I did it. Yeah. I remember when I was done with You're in the Movie, I snapped that disc in half. Oh my God. It was just like, fuck you. I what did it. What a waste of $2. <laughs> uh, it's the only game I've ever snapped. Wow. It was such a shitty game. Great. You're in the movie. Well, that's a good plug for You're in the Movies. Don't Buy that today. Yeah. Uh, here's a genuine question. You 100% completed Call of Juarez. Oh. I just beat Call of Juarez Gunslinger. That is one of my favorite games I've played this year. I never played Gunslinger. Amazing. Yeah. How's Call of Juarez? I want to play that. Isn't it basically Call of Duty, but like... Well, Call of War, no, it, it wasn't like... Well, I mean, it was a first-person yeah. shooter in that. But no, Call of, the original Call yeah. of Wars was really fun because it was... You're playing two sides of a yeah. Western story. I love Westerns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was just a really fun Western of... Uh, I barely remember that. I just remember one of the characters is like an ex-gunslinger who's now a preacher mm -hmm. who has to pick the gun up, you okay. know, to go after the bad guy. Um, That's like it, was a really, it was just a really fun game. It, it was cheap. Yeah. It was easy to thousand. And the hardest part of it were the multi... I fucking hate multiplayer achievements. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Especially now because you lose service. Like, I don't even know. That might be a game that... There are now games that are impossible to complete. Yeah, I think that's funny because there's so many, like, multiplayer-based games for achievements where the server's been taken offline. Like, I'm playing Darksiders 2 on my PS4 right now, even though I own it on PS3, but I can't because there's an achievement tied to an online thing that they took out of, of the PS4 version. Yeah. Which makes that an unplatinable game. Uh-oh. That sounds insane. But that's why I'm playing on PS4. Uh, but no, Call of War is honestly like I don't know if you got time in your yeah. schedule. Play that game. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, how's Alpha Protocol? I was also thinking about playing this. I'm gonna be playing. I just found a copy of that on PS3. I'm gonna replay that. That game fucking rules. I I, I have it on PS3. I might buy it, I might buy it on Steam just for like better graphics. But uh, I'm gonna play it on PS3 so I can get yeah. the platinum. Okay. Because this go. was I'm I'm doing a thing where I'm replatining a lot of games <laughs> that I did on 360. Okay. The ones that I like. Yeah. Or ones that we'll get to yeah, yeah. that are to fucking screw yeah, with you. Yeah. Yeah. So. so uh, but Alpha Protocol is really fun because it's a. Uh, it's like a hybrid RPG third person shooter that's uh, it's all that spy shit. Yeah, it's developed by Obsidian who did like yeah. Fault New Vegas. Is it similar to, like Mass Effect or I never really played Mass Effect, okay. so I don't know, but I mean it's Okay, so it's this spy story yeah. and it's really cool because there's an upgrade path. There's different guns that have different powers, yeah. and by powers I mean like if you're really proficient with pistols, you're better at headshots. I also if you're heard, really proficient with SMGs, you're better get at yeah. criticals. I also heard that if you upgrade the pistol, you can break the game. Yeah. Okay. Um. So to platinum it, which I'm gonna do when I got the thousand, yeah. you have to at least play it twice, mm -hmm. and it's really convoluted. You actually have to play it like two and a third times, so whatever. Um. Uh, one of the times you have to beat it is on hard. Yeah. Which the second thing I hate, the only thing I hate more than Multiplayer achievements are difficulty-based achievements. That don't stack. Or that period. don't stack. Yeah. Even, yeah, especially if they don't stack, because yeah. these ones That's don't. That's so stupid. Um, sometimes, though, on some games, they, they uh, like, Witcher 3. Yeah. I love Witcher 3, but you have to play it on the hardest difficulty, and sometimes it's just annoyingly hard. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to do this, yeah. but I want a thousand it. Or, you got, I want a platinum you, you it. You got it, there you go. You got me in the back in the, oh, the, no. the thousand mindset. But no, Alpha Protocol is good if you can find it for under ten bucks. Play it. Yeah, I got that at GameStop for three bucks. Oh yeah, it's on Wait. Steam. Yeah. So if you don't Steam achievements, I don't re I never really got into because yeah. you can cheat them. It's like yeah, so it kind of breaks the system. There's no like, t I guess you can change your showcase on it, but it's like it. It, it made me. There's been a couple games that I've gotten achievements in that, and we'll talk about that yeah. later when we come to a special game. And some games that you can only get on there. Like I tried to get it like all the achievements in the Stanley Parable because that's funny. Yeah, that's a good game. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's some in there. It's like I'm never fucking doing this. Yeah. So I don't care. Um, but the fact that anyone is, for me, the whole thing about trophies and platinum is more fun when I'm doing it with someone else. Yeah. Cause it's more like a community thing. Totally. And so the fact that you can cheat on that's like, this doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, alpha protocol. I, I, I like what are uh, we doing next. So one game that I'm going to play soon, Darksiders. You fucking love. Tell me about, Darksiders. tell me okay. about Darksiders. Darksiders one is like the best Zelda game made in the Xbox 360 mm -hmm. PS three era mm -hmm. it's um it's a zelda like game you know dungeons and you got to get the item you know you gotta get the hook shot before you can go to this blah 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 mixed with god of war style gameplay mm -hmm. and it's got my favorite kind of not my favorite one of my favorite themes which is the apocalypse and the four horsemen okay i don't know why i just yeah, really yeah. like that shit yeah and so you're playing as one of the four horsemen war and there's this whole cool convoluted storyline of a war between heaven and hell yeah Mixed in with a really good uh, Zelda game, mixed with a really good God of War game, mixed with spoiler, really good Portal game. Wow. Okay. okay. They fucking at that point it was literally just like, and it's not really a spoiler. Yeah. It's one of the weapons yeah, yeah. is a fucking portal gun. Holy shit! Okay, it's cool. good for puzzles. There's some really good puzzles in that yeah, game. Yeah, I it, that game was just we're gonna rip off this, we're gonna rip off this, cool. we're gonna rip off this, and we're gonna make it good. Yeah. Um, I have 100 percent of that game. And it's sequel, right? Uh, no, I, you know what? I never got around to I'm just now playing Darksiders 2. But I have a 1,000 points on 360. I have the Platinum on PS3. Mm -hmm. I have the Platinum on PS4. Wow. And I played it on Steam. Is that one of your favorite games of all time? Probably. Cool. Oh, I'm excited. Because, like, yeah, they made those games. Like, the first one came out in 2010, but they just put out, like, the War Mastered and Definitive Edition. They put out, like, the remastered They, they put it on PS4, yeah. yeah. Um, I never got around to playing P uh, Darksiders 2 because Darksiders 1 is that Zelda thing. Yeah. Darksiders 2 is, well, now there's loot. Ooh, and like they, yeah, I, I just heard some things that are like, I'll get around to it, and sure. I never did. So, um, do you do Humble Bundle? Yeah. They, THQ did I, a Humble I Bundle. Them. Yeah, I yeah for 15 one. bucks, yeah. you got a bunch of fucking yeah. uh, games on PS3 yeah. and PS4. And so, oh, I'll play these again. Yeah. And so I'm just now going through Darksiders 2 because Darksiders 3 has been announced for next year. So there you go. R Ryan will Darksiders Ryan fucking play Darksiders. Rules. Monopoly? This is a game you 100%ed? Uh, that was during my... So when I was up in Portland, ho, there was a Hollywood video by me. Uh -huh. So they, they had a thing like the pass. So is, was Monopoly a 100, 1,000 achievement game? Yep. Or two, how, it was a... It was, I played a shit ton of Monopoly. By yourself? Online yeah. with other people? Just I don't yourself? remember. See, this is why it'd be nice if we could pull up the... Yeah. Uh, when we I, get to the PS3 and the PS4, I can go to my PSN profiles that has okay. everything. But I just like seeing what sticks to you in your memory. So that 
I think there was something about playing it online. I don't remember. I remember just playing a shit ton of Monopoly against really dumb computers. That sounds fun. Hey, you know what? To be fair, when I was a kid... I also... Oh, go ahead. When I was a kid, I played a lot of Chess 64. Yeah. So it's just like, there's random games, you know? The other thing is, in my living room, I have two TVs right next to each other. Okay. One for playing on video games and one for while I'm doing that. Yeah. I can watch movies. I can watch TV, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I would watch a lot of whatever. Mm -hmm. Or I have, like, my now iPad at the time computer. I'm like, I'm going to watch... You know, some old giant bomb stuff. Or yeah, I'm going to yeah. watch Mega 64. Yeah, yeah. Mega 64 TV has been kind of like a godsend for doing things while doing other things. Because I'll just put it on my iPad and I'll just let it run and watch old Mega 64 shit while I'm playing bad games yeah, on yeah. my PS4, which, like I said, we'll get to. Uh, so next game, Wanted Weapons of Fate. Is this <laughs> based on the movie yeah. Wanted? Yeah. What was it? Was it a third person shooter or a first person shooter? You can't remember? No, I just remember it was bad. Because it was one of those games you had to play on hard, and it was oh, badly no. made. So this is, uh, But you could curve the bullet. Okay, cool. So this is something I miss. I miss... Ba- like, honestly, I miss shitty... No, not necessarily shitty, but I miss uh, movies to games adaptations. Because now everything goes straight to mobile. But I miss, like, that game, cheesy game adaptations. The thing I remember about that game is that game sucked because you had to beat the whole game on hard. And then there was a bunch of achievements for beat this boss as... It was one of those things yeah. where you could play as other characters... So it's like beat the whole game, unlock this character, now play up to this oh, part. Because no. I don't remember, I can't remember if there was a level select. Yeah, there probably was. So could you could you play as Angelina Jolie? I don't remember. Oh, that'd be cool. You could play as the butcher. I remember that because there was a mode to play. That game was all about curving the bullet, and there was a mode to only play it in uh, uh, hand-to-hand combat. <laughs> that game was shitty. Cool. I'll pull up. That was another. Uh, uh, that was another uh, blockbuster pass. Nice. Yeah. That's a block. So if you, if you can find that game at Blockbuster, Ryan says rent it. Uh, uh, how is Viking Battle for Asgard? I have Viking Battle Steam. for Asgard is the best fucking game that I can't play on my PS3. That I went. It was a Xbox 360 game only. Yeah. It was an open it's on Steam. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. It it is uh like it kind of like kind of semi open world in yeah. that Zelda kind of way. Okay. Viking game where you're fighting hell. Okay. It uh, hell is a woman in mm-hmm. North Norse mythology. Uh, it was just a really fun fucking beat 'em up game. Cool. It was like another God of War ish type yeah. game, and you were a Viking, and there were Viking powers. And I looked it up originally because it was on a list of you know fun but kind of easy, easy thousand games. That's right. On like true achievements in these sites, they would list true like yeah. how easy it was to platinum games or whatever. Yeah. Um. No, that game ruled, and it never got a follow-up, and it never got ported. I would have definitely played it. I would love to get the Platinum in that game, but maybe I have, like, old, you know, kind of, like, blinders, too. But I remember having a lot of fun playing Viking. That was a great game. How's Jumper Griffin Story? Shitty. Is it it an (laughs) action-adventure third person? It was a... It was based on the movie Jumper. Okay, yeah. But you weren't playing Hayden Christensen. You were playing the... um, Griffin. Yeah, was he, like, Scottish or something? He was the other Jumper. It was a game where... Basically, all four buttons were jumper buttons, and it was just the direction you jumpered. <laughs> Why aren't they? I like using that as a um, that Where's game, the remaster of that? That game fucking sucked. Re- it was a bad jumper. game, and there was an achievement in that for beating the whole game. There were two. It was beat the whole game in like under an hour, which was... Yeah. And it was beat the whole game without ever being Jumping? hit once. Jumper without no, jumper? without ever being hit by okay. anything once. And so many... like. That game only takes an hour. Now yeah. imagine getting to the 58 minute mark on the final boss and getting hit and having to start you're, all over you're again. Not, you're not good enough at jumpering. Three times. You gotta, you know. Fuck that game. Practice makes perfect. Ugh. How was Saw? I liked Saw. You like Saw? Saw and Saw 2, which I never played, are on PS3, and I'm going to be picking those all up right. to replatinum. Back, back up I like Saw. Saw. The Saw movies are fun. It was um, Saw was like a weird kind of. It was like, an adventure game. Like it was a, no. Clues? It was a survival horror game. Oh, okay. You had it like when you got a gun, there was only one bullet in it. Okay. And there were all these. Okay, you know, you're going through one of Jigsaw's puzzles, so you get to like a big like trap, and you'd have to get someone out to make them come with you. <laughs> um, do the traps come alive in that one? The traps don't come alive in that one. I hear in Saw Two, maybe the traps. Okay, come alive. Well, I'll be playing that again, and I'll let you know. Right. No, th- those are. So I rank games like this when you're doing this kind of stuff. There's the, like the really just shit. Yep. Bottom of the tier. Miserable. Jumper's Griffin, you know, yep. Jumper Griffin okay. story. Uh, the one that I'm surprised you have not. Oh, it's the last one. We'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, sh- they just terrible fucking games that you do because their achievements are god awfully easy. Yeah. Only because that's why they only made the game so they could sell it. Yeah. The one it's like the Avatar game, which yeah, I guess there was a thing that actually came out. There used to that game had actual achievements, 
And at the last second, the company that made it scrapped those and just put in the easy ones. Wow. Um, but anyway, there's that shit. There's the kind of – so that's the shovelware. Yeah. Then you've got stuff like um, – what were we just talking about? Uh, 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 jumper, vi- no. Viking. Saw. Saw. You got stuff like Saw, which is garbage, but you can see the fun in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and there's some fun achievements. There's a little hard ones, whatever. You have a good time. At the, we're like, I'll never play this game again, but I enjoyed my time. And then you've got the AAA shit. Yeah. Um, you, uh, you you wanted to talk about 1 versus 100? I think I have all the achievements in that. Yeah, too. no, that's I cool that just game. because that game was fun. It was one of those. So it wasn't something you get 1,000. It was since it was downloadable, it was yeah. 200. But I just like that because 1 versus 100 was a cool concept. It's I, yeah. uh They still owe me a prize. What? Did you uh, buy on something? No, they used to do the thing where they would take live calls. Yeah. And it was right before PAX. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike and Jerry, the the uh, guys from Penny yeah. Arcade were on it. And they were like, hey, call in and answer this question. It was about Penny Arcade. And I won. And I was supposed to win like a year's subscription to, not was it Spotify? Okay. Did they have a thing with Xbox 360? I can't remember. It was something like that. Yeah. And one of those little message pads. Yeah. And I, and they never fucking sent it to me. So well, fuck you, know, you Microsoft. I think they, you fucked me twice. I think they banned your account because they didn't want you to have, you know raise any stakes. That they got back. Uh, no, one versus one hundred is cool, and it was just fun to like. The cool thing about that was eventually they canceled one versus one hundred, so it became one of those things you can never get these achievements again. So having all of them was cool. It was just I guess like, so. Yeah, yeah. There's another one I don't think you have on there that can I talk about really yeah. quick? It was NBA College Hoops, whatever. Yeah. That was a whatever game, but they Wasn't had an achievement. That was the achievement where it was... A get, thousand like, people have to be online at the same time. Yeah. And that was really cool because back on Xbox Xbox 360 achievementsorg which now PlayStationTrophies.org is like the yeah. big site for like yeah, yeah. tips and you know guides yeah. and everything. There was a, a message board that was like, all right, we're all going to get online <laughs> at X time. You know, sign up, make sure we're in, you know, use this to make sure you're in the right fucking time zone and everything. And it was just fun to be like, I went and I bought that game at a GameStop for two. I like, yeah. I would comb, because in my town at the time, we had a GameStop, we had an electronics boutique, and a software, et cetera. So I just went to all the, you know, dollar bins, because yeah. that's where they put all the yeah, yeah, shitty yeah. old games. And I finally found a copy, and I was like, cool. Uh, got in, eventually got that achievement. I was like, all right, well, now I got to play this game. I remember one shitty sports game I played for the achievement. I think it was the first Madden on 360. There was one where you had to uh, simulate 30 years of 30 seasons. Yeah. So I remember just doing simulate, I did simulate, that. I did that too. For like three hours. It was the first Madden on that. Yeah. I got that too. I also got the one in one of the um, WC or WWE versus SmackDown 2010, I think. Mm-hmm. I have all the achievements in that, and it was simulate 30 years of. But the funny thing is, I was like, I'll just do like I did on Madden, but. I actually played that because it was wrestling and it there was you fun. Go. It was fun. Um, a few other games: Terminator Salvation. Uh, talk about some of these. Was that is that the worst game? That's the worst because I yeah. just got the platinum on PS3 yes. for that. Just because I knew we were doing. Yeah, this. you were reliving. That's the worst fucking game. Of, that might be worse than you're in the movies. So I look. I look. I, I look at the. Shooter. I looked at gameplay of it on YouTube. It looks like a fine generic third person shooter. You're shooting robots. What's like bad about the game? <sighs> there are only. Three different enemies in that game. Oh, okay. One Terminators. Of them, no, no, that's the thing. There's, there's, uh, no, there's four. Yeah. There's the hunter killers that are like the bosses, but well, are there there's, the there are these little flying robots, yeah. and those you just get a shotgun, you blow them yeah. out, or whatever. Uh, there are the spiders that you can only hit in the back. Oh no. Okay. And there are these, and then the terminators, which take god awful amounts of yeah. hits. The thing about it is. The only way to shoot those spiders are in the back, right? So mm-hmm. they give you an AI that's supposed to, you know, yeah. uh, uh, hey, I'll shoot it, you go, and it's about getting to cover, because it's got a cover system so you can get behind it. But they forgot to, it's like they forgot to program the spiders to focus on anything but you. So you don't shoot, you move, and they just keep moving with you. So I'm supposed to shoot this thing in the back and it never gives me its back. So you'd think the AI would shoot it. Nah. They don't shoot it because it's got a spot. Yeah. Um, or it's there's these on rails parts where it's like you got to shoot these things that are coming at you and you're going to take damage while you do it. Okay. Only they give you a gun that's like, let's say you've got a range of 100 yards. Yeah. The things fighting you have a range of 500 yards and they start shooting you before they even materialize. <laughs> so it's like, okay, you got to make sure that your health, your health is gone. Start over. Also, it's got shit awful um, uh, safe points. Yeah. So it's like. Okay, I just got done with this 20-minute long getting around these fucking T-800s 
Okay, and I'm three fights down, and I finally die. Oh, you got to do. Are it you all playing again. as Christian Bale in this? Yes, okay. but it's not Christian Bale. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, no. Eventually, you have to fight all these T800s with Gatling gun arms. Yeah. So it's like if you even pop your head out to from cover, you're dead. But they don't take damage from bullets. They only take damage from explosions mm-hmm. and things. And the reason it sucks is. Okay, we're going to give you... All right, so there's a grenade launcher and a rocket launcher and grenades and pipe bombs. They give you enough stuff. Mm -hmm. But you can only hold, like, you know, two rockets. Okay, that's cool. There's a pile of rockets next to your cover. Oh, you can't pick up ammo in cover. Ever. Even if you're standing on top of it, you're not allowed to pick up ammo. So, okay, so I have to come out of cover? Sure, okay. I'll just pop out of cover really... Immediately dead. Yeah. Even at full health. Two seconds out of cover. How, how often is this is this part happen in the game? Is it constantly? There are, I think, nine chapters in that yeah. game, and it's from chapter four for the rest of the game. Wow, cool. So you, That game is a misery. So you completed that game twice, 100% on 360 and PlayStation. I did the PlayStation 1 when you asked me to do this. Right? Um, so now just, you, just for fun, you just said to fuck it's difficult, you. but in the event that the singularity happens uh-huh. and judgment days occur, Ryan, you are going to be able to save us all. As long as there's enough, <laughs> ex- if, as long as for some reason in the middle of a destroyed Los Angeles, someone has just left RPG yeah. rounds. Yeah. And as long as I'm allowed to pick them up without leaving cover. Yeah. If I don't, I'm dead. So I think it'll be fine. I saw another game you played was Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. Oh, that was the sequel to Death Spank, which was a- Death uh, Spank? Uh, it was a downloadable game that I kind of okay. liked. It was uh, like a open world kind of Diablo-ish yeah. type of thing. Kind of. It was just dumb humor. It was fun. It was like five bucks. Okay. That's the end of random shitty I games. I have another random shitty Go game that it. was on your list that we you didn't bring up. Lost what? Via Domus. I, was, I, was, I said shitty games. Let's talk about good games. Talk Dude, that game's a piece of shit. No. It Did is you bad. ever play it? I rented it from Blockbuster. I don't remember. Much. I played it because number one, it was an easy thousand. But number two, walks out Damon like Lindelof name. and Carlton Cuse are like, it absolutely oh, yeah. ties in. Yeah. No, it fucking doesn't. Marketing. The, the only thing that game ever gave us was the shitty lock yeah. voice because we still like, me, shuts out Josh Grilly and... Zach Weiss, they still go, hey, it's me, John Locke over here. Like, it's just that shit. Locke sounds like a Native American in that game. Like, that game is yeah. bad. Uh, what, that game is bad. What are some random, what are some tough achievements in that game? You gotta beat it on hard? Is there a difficulty? There isn't a combat? difficulty. No, it was fi- hiding in banyan trees from the smoke monster. Well, then get to the banyan and trees. You have like two seconds. It was a lot of like just play shit and. Uh, you get to walk around and be part I of the I feel lost. like you could read minds. That sounds about right. Um, and then most recently, you platinumed Persona 5. Fucking love that game. I still haven't... I, I bought Persona 5. I haven't played it oh yet because gosh. it's so large and daunting. But is Persona 5 your favorite game of the year so far? Yeah, for sure. If it wasn't for Persona 5, I'd say Horizon. Yeah. Dude, so many good games have come out this year, though. It's exciting. It's good. Resident Evil 7. Yep. Neo. Neo is my favorite so far. Uh, They just put out some DLC for that that makes me not want to like Neo anymore. What's the deal, new DLC? They Okay, so if you haven't played Neo, it's sort of like uh, like a... I hate no, no, it's, it's Dark Souls. It's Samurai it's Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Yeah, it's Samurai yeah. Dark Souls. Um, but when you beat the game, you can it, you can start like a new game plus. I didn't yeah. need to. I got all the points. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I don't need to do this. So they put out... And this is the thing that kills me when I look at that thing. It's like, oh, my 100%'s gone. I still have the Platinum, but I haven't 100% uh, anymore. Yeah. It's like, okay, what do I got to do to... Uh, you know, yeah. put out this new DLC. Oh, you have to beat New Game Plus Plus. No, oh, that sucks. So it's I haven't even done New Game Plus. Yeah. I'd have to put double the time I put into one thousanding the game. Yeah, I I it's just like fuck. I you. didn't even one hundred percent the game, but I put like fifty hours into it. I it was a lot of fun. Anyways, Persona Five. Persona Five fucking rules. I still need to go back and get the one last trophy in Persona Four. Sorry. Um. What? So I mean, I so like I want to keep it brief because there's stuff I want to talk about, but like. I get the general gist of Persona 5. Half of it is like Japanese high school sim. Half of it's like dungeon crawling JRPG. The high school sim stuff is what's like daunting to me. Like Persona 5 is the best Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift video game. So what are you climbing the ranks? No, it's 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 just a cool like I it's a cool high I story. I kind of don't want to do a dating sim or a It's high not sim. really a high school sim as much as it is a cool heist sim. It's a cool story about some kid let me give you the, the gist yeah, of Persona yeah, yeah. 5. I played this Some kid hours. gets sent, for some reason, mm-hmm. to live above a curry restaurant yep. in Tokyo because he was noticing a rape yeah. and said, hey, stop that, and then got arrested. You find out what happened yeah, later. Yeah. Um, 
But the thing about Persona, and I think the reason I like Persona 4 so much is that Giant Bomb did their endurance run of it. Yeah, yeah, So it became this cult thing of like, ah, oh, it's funny, oh, chie, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, but that just, it's one of those things where it's, we do this all the time. If you start liking something ironically until you yeah. like something unironically. And that's how Persona 4 was. I played the shit out of Persona 4 Golden on the Vita. Uh, and then Persona 5 is just, it's, it's, it sounds like it's daunting. Yeah. But you get sucked in. You like these characters. You... I like the, oh, shit, it's Tuesday, which means if I go to the bathhouse, yeah. you know, I'll get the extra charm because they've added the mud ward to it. But that'll take up my night. But I can call this one social link who will do, you know, she'll make the coffee for me so I can have that for the SP in the dungeon. It's fucking great. Well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll keep. You I'll should keep at least try it. You it own it. So yeah. it'd be dumb not to try it. That's true. Um, let's see. Um, quick things with trophies. So we yeah. kind of talked about with Steam, people can hack it, so it's not as good. Yeah. I just played through Prey, and like going through the achievements on that, like the way I look at achievements now is Fuck, like you have to beat thre- Prey three times to get the platinum. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. I don't platinum shit, so I don't I'm gonna care. do it. Um, Prey is good though. You will like it. But yeah, when I look at achievements, if I'm enjoying a game, then maybe I'll look at the achievement listing. Man, like even if I'm as I'm playing a game, I'll just play it. And then maybe midway through, as I'm kind of like starting to get maybe a little bit burnt out, yeah. I'll look at achievements being like, oh, I'll get an achievement if I get 10 shotgun kills. Yeah. I'll kind of start looking at ways to spice up the playthrough. And then when I'm almost just about ready to put away the game, I'll look yeah. at the achievements and look like, oh, what other achievements are there? And it's kind of, if I like the game, I'll go for more. If I'm done with the game, I don't care. So even with Prey, it's like, I think I can finish the game with like half the achievements, but you know what? I liked it. I finished it. I uninstalled it. Can I give you a... a yeah, really? yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Can I give you a recommendation on a game then that you might like? Have you played Wolfenstein The New Order? Uh, yeah, yeah. I played both of them, yeah. Okay. That one I really liked because half of its achievements were tied to... I like this sometimes. You'll get these games that'll have... I'm dealing with this with y- yeah. uh, Yakuza 0 right now. You have these games that have their own kind of in-game completion list yeah. or achievement. I love that, yeah. And with, like, Yakuza 0, it's annoying because you have to do 100% of this shit for one trophy, and there's a lot of shit in yeah. that. With what Wolfenstein did was you have this thing of, all right, get 10 kills with a suppressed Yeah, handgun, get a stealth kill, and get you'll 10 get machine eight, gun kills. And yeah. it's this way to get, like, power-ups. Yeah, it's a progression system. It's a progression yeah, system. What awesome. they did is those are all the achievements. Yeah. So if you just do all that, plus some collecting, that was everything. Yeah. That game ruled. It's a good game. Yeah, we can, we can talk more about it. I can't recommend. Now, that game also, you have to beat that game on Uber to, to yeah. platinum it. Ah, ha, ha. If you just don't connect to, if you get the get the physical disc, unplug your PlayStation from your it's internet. Illegal. Huh? Beat the game on easy. There's a bug in the original version. You beat the game on easy, and then you just replay the last chapter on the hardest difficulty, and you get the one for playing the whole game on the hardest difficulty. I think like the original Last of Us had a glitch like that too, where it was like you could know. new game plus it on. Har- I played the all of the Last of Us on somebody else's uh, PS3, so I have no achievements for it. Whoa! <laughs> or so, trophies. I, I always f- fuck that up. Yeah, I, I feel like when you go that far for a trophy, whatever, you get the enjoyed through the trophy. I was that's fine. beating the Last of Us before we went to RTX solely so yeah. no one could ruin it for me. Um, what's up with Nintendo not giving a shit? Put some fucking achievements on that. Give me some Switch achievements. It, yeah. I it sucks because, honestly, the only reason I haven't played Breath of the Wild yeah, yet no fucking is because Horizon Zero Dawn, which fucking rules, had achievements. Yeah, there you go. Nintendo, why are you screwing up? Why are you screwing I think up? sometimes it ruins my way to uh, enjoy some games, though, because it's like, I could buy a Switch and I could play Zelda. Everyone says it's fun. <laughs> or... I could play Horizon Zero Dawn and Persona Five. I, I love that you're an educated doctor, and you look at not like not that like you're 100 percent wrong, but it is still funny. It's like your mindset with that is like I'm not gonna fucking play Switch. There's no achievements. So this is really dumb, <laughs> but it feels like okay. I played MMOs for a long time. Yeah, me too. You want to yeah. check out achievements? Check out my fucking WoW achievements. Uh-huh. I have way too many. Do you have it? Do you have to have like the WoW achievements where it's like level up every class to 80 or whatever? No, I never did that. I That's like the did. one I never. I never liked alting. I like playing my one character, yeah. but I have like. Every single, you know, those achievements you get for like, you know, the first it was like beat all the bosses in wrath on yeah. like hero. And then it was like the weird ones, like, you know, under 60 seconds or, under, whatever, or yeah. like, you know, do the fun thing, like, uh, yeah. you know, beat professor Putricide in, in ice crown citadel mm-hmm. before he does it. You know, those guys, yeah. I have all of those. Yeah. I did, you know, as we did progression with my raid is like, all right, we beat it. Now let's go back and do all the fun shit. Um, what the fuck was I talking? Oh, MMOs give you that feeling of like putting in work. Yeah. I l- sometimes, and this is weird to think that this is fun to me, but it's like, all right, it's Sunday. I got nothing to do. You know, my files yeah. are done. I don't got nothing to work. I'm put some work in today on Darksiders 2. <laughs> yeah. I'm put some work in and 
like play these like one day I got the day I beat Persona Five. I beat the game at I stayed up all night Saturday. Yeah. And I beat it at like twelve thirty in the morning because I was I was close yeah. and I wanted to beat it. So I woke up the next day and I was like I got no plans today, and I got three more platinums in like shitty easy games. Wow. Like uh, what is it? I got the the platinum in Mister Massage. Which is a downloadable game that you can platinum in 30 minutes. Okay. It's made by this company called Green Lava that just make games with easy like they have a game that's a dollar called My Name Is Mayo. You get a platinum trophy for basically pressing the X button 10,000 times. You just did it in an hour, and if you buy it on PS4, you get a Vita version for free. So oh, I got wow. two platinums two for platinums. a dollar. There you go. Uh, it's weird. It's like I put in work. Yeah. I got yeah. I'm up to 33 platinums. Yeah. And. 30 of those are f- from January to now. There you go. It's a new, a new Ryan, a new Dawn. But, yeah, no, I look at it as putting in – I'm putting in work today. I'm getting that number yeah. up. I go to the site PSN Profiles, which I paid uh, $16 for a lifetime subscription I use, tr- use tro- TrueTrophies.com, I think. I like True Achievement System. But True – they're um, – Number one, I don't like them for two years. Number one, their UI sucks now. And number okay. two, I'm the first person in the world to ever get the trophy for beating all the story modes in Dive Kick on PS3. Mm-hmm. And it shows that on every site except for True Trophies. Oh, come on. Well, so what's use? PSN Profiles? PSNProfiles.com and PlayStationTrophies.org. Those are my two go-to sites. There you go. Oh. Um, but it's also cool because PSN Profiles and put up a screen of yeah uh, here's here's my profile yeah put this in later yeah, yeah, yeah. uh you get this cool you can go down and you can see the name how many points you know here's the percentage of what you've done and so it's a cool way to look at it like a hall of fame because that's the <laughs> other thing is sometimes at night before i go to bed i'll just pull that site up and i'll go through it's like here's like when i did eight games in a row here okay, okay. It, yeah well you know what i like it's it's val- it's, i mean it's it's a one way to validate your experience with games it's one way to look back and reflect it is i respect that. I, it comes back down to this i like collecting things yeah I have, you know, my yeah, yeah. record collection, my VHS collection, my DVD collection, my shirt collection. Yeah. And so this is my trophy collection. Yeah. It's it's instead of just being a collection of games I've bought, this is a game a collection of games I've mastered. There you go. Well, now you've mastered uh you mastered talking about achievements. Yeah. I'm fucking done talking about achievements. We're done? That's the fun. No, I got more shit to oh, talk okay. about, but I'm achievement out. So many trophies and achievements. But my bottom line is Nintendo. They're never gonna do because they're gonna be Nintendo. Okay, okay. Give me I'll, a Mario Can point. I throw this out? Yeah. Go. go How go. fucking Keep easy hold. is this? Yeah. Come on. I'm already on your side. You take uh-huh. the points yep. of achievements yeah. and the platinums, and okay. it's already built in. Every game has a hundred coins, Ooh. and if you get them all, you get the one-up mushroom for the game. <laughs> I, yeah. There, there you go. Nintendo fi it. No, fucking Nintendify the shit out of it. Nintendify I it. I don't understand why. They just won't fucking do it. They're like, oh, playing the game is its own achievement. Yeah, that's true. You should be playing games for fun. You shouldn't be like me. I'm a sick person <laughs> who plays shitty fucking games like Where the Wild Things Are <laughs> and um, Terminator, Salvation. Terminator Salvation. What's another? Deponia yep. or all these fucking the worst game, games. The worst game I played for achievements was Cars 2. I played that for achievements because there was the Xbox. You know, I had that like week sponsored by Red Spice, where it was like get a thousand achievements, yeah. and I, I played Cars too. Red Spice, Old Spice, there we Old go. Spice, whatever. <laughs> Their icon is red. Um, yeah. So Nintendo fight that Nintendo 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 fight achievements. There you go. Play Telltale games. They're easy achievements, and some of them are great. All right, you talked about how you got hacked by Russian hackers. Yeah, you no longer have your Xbox accounts, fuck but that. I heard whispers yeah. in my ears out. What'd you do on Neopets? In the early days. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about your Neopets exploits. Hey, so talking about early usernames, uh, my username on Neopets, I think, was Rob Van Dam 2003. Oh, <laughs> mine was Ronan Outlaw. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, in some ways, the getting hacked was uh, payback. So I used to play Neopets, mm-hmm. and it was really easy back in the day because yeah, we were all dumb yep. to get people... To believe your scams that you could give them a million free Neopets. You, would you PM somebody? Yeah, you just you would go on. So I learned this because somebody did it to somebody. It was you uh-huh. know beware of this scam. I was like, oh, I can do that. Yeah, hey, this is a PSA to everyone. Beware, we're, um, we're here to Neopets protect your Neopets account. Used to have. Should we tell people what Neopets was just in case? Sure. Okay. It was this virtual. It basically you'd get like it was big when t- it got big when Tamagotchis got big. Yeah. You get a virtual pet and you could there was all these like click here and you'll get an item for it and it was bullshit. Um but I was 12 and I thought it was a cool yeah, thing cuz it was I, I like nothing it was a collection yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, 
Which is what it all this free. is. It's all just a fucking either. It was a free achievements, in, it, Neopets. These are all just fucking skill boxes. It was boxes. a free in browser video game that you can yeah. play at the school library. So there you go. Exactly. Me and my <laughs> that was the game that me and my sister played a lot yeah. together. Was yeah, yeah. I, Aaron? I've got a Lupin, but you've got yeah. a what a, yeah. that frog was, and I got the cool paintbrush for it, and mm-hmm. I'll trade you that for. Okay. Shouts out, Aaron. Yeah. I love you very much, my sister. Um. So Neopets had a message board. Yeah. And you know, it was like any message yeah, board. Yeah. So what I would do is I would go through and just blanket at. Um, I uh, this wasn't on my main account. This was on my second account, Maximum Here. Surf. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would say to them like, "Hey, I know the hack to get a million Neo wow. coins or whatever. Okay. It's really simple. It's like a Ponzi scheme. All you have to do is change your your uh, email to. I think I, I made a Hotmail account called." Easy Neopet hacks at hotmail.com. And then you need to go and create, uh, you know, and then something to basically, uh, you know, tell them to do something yeah. that'll take at least five minutes. Yeah. Then I would just go and request password. Oh my God. Change the password, oh take all their shit, God. transfer it to Maximum Surf, and then transfer the oh stuff I like to God. Ronan Atwa. Well, you just confessed to murder. This is <laughs> awful. Uh, no, I'll blur out your face in disguise. Thank you. In disguise. Your I. Voice. I had so many. And then the best part was there were these things in Neopets where it's like, click this once a day to get a thing and you'll yeah. like it like a lottery thing. Yeah. Eventually, I just had 20 accounts. So I was just, I'd do it and if anything good. And I eventually got banned on my main account because I tried asking a girl for pics of her. I said a bad word. And then when I got banned, I said, no, I meant cat. Mm-hmm. I wanted a, a, her cat. And then I stopped playing Neopets. Wow. I was 13. Give me a wow. fucking break. You know, that's how all great cr- criminals go down. They, <laughs> the, you know, they get suckered in. I got it. Okay, wait, wait. I got to share something once. Yeah. I got an email once from somebody's mom uh-huh. on that one saying, hey, you stole Tanner, you know, whatever's yeah. account. Please, I'm just begging. Give it back. Please. He loves this game more than anything. Because he had like this flame paintbrush sure. that's worth yeah. whatever, and I had already used it on my guy, and I just went nah, oh. and, de- and just got re- and I just deleted. Not only did I <laughs> do that, I deleted his account, so he can never get it back. I I you could like throw your Neopets in like a pound. Yeah, I did that, and was like it's gone. Wow, cold. And now, hey, but you know what? You're a doctor. You give back. I wonder if I can get in legal trouble for this. Nah, no. Ne- Neopets shut down their form. They don't care anymore. Neopets is still around. Yeah, but they shut down. They took away moderators on their forum. Eh, they don't care funny. anymore. They don't care anymore. Neopets isn't watching. If I'm going to go down for anything in my life, if it happens to be because I stole some kids' Neopets That's account. okay. You know what? No. Because I was 13. I'm 31 now. Statue of Lizzo yeah, long, you know, yeah, I was a minor. Same thing with the Zodiac Killer. They can't do anything now. It's long, long gone. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Well, talking about PC gaming, because we're talking about Neopets. Yeah. Um, I've, I've kind of started to switch over more and more to PC gaming over the past year. You know, and it's funny is I've been switching off of it. Really? Okay, yeah. this is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about frame rates. This is so specific and weird. Because um, in the past year, I got a 144 hertz monitor. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm not like obsessed over frame rates, mm-hmm. but like most recent case scenario, Prey is 30 FPS on PS4, 60 frames on PC. It looks good on PC. That, does that affect you at all when buying a game, frame rates or any graphics? It, no, it. not at all? I've never given a shit about how anything looks. All I care about is... Are the trophies game. and achievements? No, all I care about is gameplay. Okay. If a game's fun, I don't care what it looks like. I played all of Bully recently to get the platinum in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bully looks like shit. I love Bully, though. Yeah. Dude, you hear they might be making a new Bully? Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see. That's always... The, it's yeah. been the rumor for the last 10 yeah. years. They're finally making um, a new Bully. Because, like, Destiny 4... No, Destiny, Destiny 2. Destiny 2. But technically, Destiny 4, because there's Destiny, Taken King... The third Those expansion. are expansions. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Destiny 2 is an expansion. I'm going to get Destiny 2. You going to get Destiny 2? Yeah, two? but here's the thing. I'm getting it on PC. I'm getting it on PS4. Uncapped and frame it's rate. It's not going to be cross-play. Uncapped frame rate. Get it on PS4. Fuck that. Uncapped frame rate. But you can't get a platinum. Uncapped frame rate. But you can't get a platinum. Mouse and keyboard. PS4 is going to have extra strikes and weapons that PC never gets. What? When was that announced? Exclusive. At the, the thing that happened. Oh, no. PS4 has got the exclusive no. with Destiny. Oh. So it, this is what it comes down to. Where are my friends going to be? Exactly. That's Shit. what it always was. Oh, you're getting but on but it, let's assume that we were all going to get it on the same thing no matter what. Yeah. It comes down to, does it, you want it to look cooler or do you want more gameplay? It's always going to be for me. I'm always going to go more gameplay. Shit. I didn't know. That. I still might get it on PC. I don't know. Just get on both. That's a, 
I just, that's what I did with fucking Overwatch. I just bought it on PC. You, I've never played Overwatch. I, I can't no get into it. I, we played I so like, much Team I, Fortress 2. I don't like it that much. I'm yeah. burned out. Yeah. Also, Team, Overwatch is not a video game. Overwatch is a... Loot box? It's, so? a, it's a way for Blizzard to cash in on Tumblr. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, everyone you like is whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Your head cannon, your fan fiction is 100% canon. Yeah. Give us your money for the costumes. Yeah. I want Soldier 76 to turn out to be like some he's school shooter. He's a dad. Is he a dad? <laughs> like, they, yeah, that was the thing when it first came out. I was like, yeah, he's like a cool dad. Now he is in the game. He's like, I'm a cool dad. Oh, it's yeah. all the dumbest, just Tumblr kid shit. It's, yeah, you know, in my reality, uh, these two characters love to kiss. Great. We believe that too. Now buy this loot box that says that that's true. Look, I'm not saying that if you... Want to, you know, because this, I, I'm not trying to like come yeah, off yeah, like yeah. homophobic because the, yeah, the big yeah. thing was the tracer and um, she's got a girlfriend. Yeah. So and like, someone else was autistic. Yeah. The one of them's autistic or whatever. Dog, I don't care what you want to do in this life. That yeah. is cool as shit. You just realize that this company doesn't give a fuck about you and it just wants your money. Blizzard they, does not give, as someone who played World of Warcraft for 10 plus years. Yeah. I think when I finally stopped playing uh, back last year, my time played, because I've been playing the same character since launch, was at oh least two God. years. Have you ever name changed it or no? What's the, the character? Yeah. No. What's the character's name? Is it Ricky, Ricky Fitness? Fitness? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I've, uh, <laughs> I've like race chained him and all that, but no, I just kept the same name. Was, I've been playing the same character for all these years and it was, yeah, Ricky Fitness because he's the coolest yeah. that name. Um, speaking with Destiny. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is Blizzard doesn't give a fuck about you. Speaking of De Destiny, which I guess is Blizzard because it's going to be going on battle on that. Uh, oh, well, Destiny, mm -hmm. World of Warcraft, yeah. all this shit. Um, the Division. MMORPGs. The I follow, do you follow Waypoint also in addition to Giant Bomb? No. I, I like Waypoint a lot. I, like Waypoint a lot. I, like I love Austin. Giant Bomb. Yeah. Waypoint is... Here's how I know I don't yeah. like Waypoint. Waypoint does a lot of articles that are this meme shit. Right, right, right. This, like, yo, wouldn't it be, you know, we think it's cooler that, uh, you know, this person uh, is a cool daddy fuck. You know, it's just shit like that. Right, right, it's the Vice thing. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck Vice. I, li I like Waypoint. One thing they talked about a lot recently, Austin Walker wrote this article. About I like Austin yeah, Walker. Yeah. He, talked, he, he, he talked about this concept of self-care and maintenance games. He talking about, like, I'll, I'll explain it. So, like, with Destiny... That, that's a game you can play to just chill out. You know, or, okay. or, or, or like World of yeah. Warcraft. Yeah. Games that you can play where you can like watch a movie in the background. That's what I do. With, yeah. 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 So that's what I'm saying. So like with World of Warcraft, I use that. I had fucking HBO now on a second monitor. Yeah. And I watched like, I watched like Game of Thrones and other shit. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, I like World of Warcraft for that. Destiny, I always play with friends, but it's like, I always like having a game that I can just play games and listen to podcasts to. Yeah. What is like your go-to game for that? I mean, it was... World of Warcraft. Yeah. I I can't tell you how many TV shows I watch World of Warcraft. Yeah, same with me. Yeah. Do you ever get this thing? I get this a lot because now I do that with normal games too. Like when I'm playing like a shitty like Terminator. Yeah. I get sense memory. Like when I look at my Terminator Salvation, I'll remember the thing I was watching. Yeah, I get that you know, too. I yeah. get that too. Like for me, I can even going back. This is the one that I always think is like the fucking PC game Goosebumps: Attack of the Mutant. Okay. I relate to Grace Under Fire. Because there happened to be on TV yeah. at the time when I was playing it. Uh, World of Warcraft, like original World of Warcraft, I relate to Family Guy. So with me, just going off the top, I remember playing Commandos 2 on PC yeah. while watching the Drew Carey show. Okay. <laughs> and I'm trying to think what other random ass games. I remember one day I specifically was playing World of Warcraft and I watched like Revolutionary Road. I have these like, sna like snapshot yeah. memories. It's, for me, it's every expansion of WoW is I can think of what I was watching the most of. Yeah. Like, so, original was, yeah, uh, what did I just say? What were we talking about? Sense memories and games that you've listened, watched movies with and you have... That is so weird. My, I just had like an entire like yeah. brain shut down. Yeah. Um, oh, Family Guy. That's right. Original Warcraft is like Family Guy. Yeah. Burning Crusade was uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. Or was that... My brain just went all off. That's cut, fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're talking about cut, world. Hey, cut, when you cut when this you out. when you no, I'm keeping this in. All right, great. When you play the, it's good. It's good to know that there's a doctor whose brains will shut off. <laughs> I don't know. I can't explain what we did. Just come back from eating, and I think yeah. finally it just settled no, in my no, gut. No, that's fine. But when you play these video games, your brain does you, shut yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. You use that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Sometimes I can play games, and especially WoW yeah. was the big one. 
what have I been doing for the last two hours? And then I'll look yeah. and I'll, I'll look at my items like, oh, I got this, this, and this. Yeah. But I don't remember how many times yeah, we yeah. ran a dungeon or how many times we yeah, did something. Yeah. It's just a cool thing to shut your brain off and chill. I get what you're saying about that, yeah. So like with me, like dying every, at least once a year, I'll play like a Warriors game, a Dynasty Warriors You Warrior fucking game. love Dynasty I love it Warriors. Because those games, I'm able, I can play those games for like 40 hours straight. You're constantly like progressing, getting items and yeah. leveling up XP. It's the grind. Yeah, it's fun. You're putting it's fun. work in. It's fun. And, but I, I listen to podcasts. I'll watch like TV shows. I can catch up on stuff. Stuff, talk with friends, whatever. But I, I usually with Dynasty Wars, I'll listen to audiobooks because that's how mindless those games are. Is I can yeah. listen to audiobooks, uh, even with like Neo playing through it and like going through stuff. I listen to like the Columbine audiobook <laughs> while listening while playing Neo with Dynasty Warriors. I listen to a bunch of like audiobooks. I, I just, can tell you exactly yeah. what I was doing during Neo. Yeah. I rewatched all of Brooklyn Nine Nine. On <laughs> there you go. It's a great fucking. Show. I like having these games, and I'm, that's why I always ask when I do neighborhood game club. I yeah. ask commenters like. Let me know what are you doing while playing, like while listening to this. Are you playing some video game? You know, like if I am not watching something, I'm yeah. on either on Skype yeah. talking to friends, or I'm on, you know, talking to Spencer and Connor yeah. and you, yeah. or I'm talking to other friends, yeah. or you know, it's it's either I'm watching something or I'm playing something. Yeah, I almost in in very few instances am I ever just playing the video game. Yeah, the the only time that happens are games that are super strong, like storytelling. Prey, I played that all 24 hours solely just playing Prey. This year, the two games that I, uh, you know, there were yeah. times where I shut off. Resident Evil 7. Yeah, I was I played that fully invested. Yeah, I did stream that. That was a little weird because yeah. it was like I'm talking at the same time, um, but not my first playthrough. Mm -hmm. And uh, Persona 5, during points. Yeah. There's a lot of grinding in that game. But I'm doing that. I watched them. I it even, was like I even, when, when yeah. story things were happening. Even, was, yeah, even like with, I've recently played Xenoblade Chronicles last year. But like even like playing a JRPG, once you've gotten past like all the opening story stuff, like when you're just grinding shit, it's fun like getting into that. But mindset. when the story stops, pause. I remember I, I, I think it was during Persona 5. I was on a call. You weren't there. But yeah. it was like Spencer, Connor, Kevin, yeah. all them. And I was like, hey, I got to go. Why? Sto uh, uh, Persona 5 story. And I just hung up the call. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, you jump in and out. But, uh, yeah, so for me, I like Dynasty Warrior games. Uh, let me know, what is your, like, game that you like to zone out and, uh, you know? And what's your what's your best TV show to watch? <laughs> my, uh, uh, my favorite to watch while playing something, and I do it at least once a year, is News Radio. Okay. Because yeah, yeah. that's one of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah. I. Uh, that's a great show to watch because it's <laughs> hilarious. Uh, anything that's like a lot of vocal and less visual. So like sitcom yeah. comedies are good for that. Podcasts too. I listen yeah. to a lot of podcasts. Um, and then I'll do a, a few quick recent reviews. I played through Prey. I love that Don't game. Don't spoil it. I love that. I, <laughs> it's my point. I'm going to spoil everything. No! I will say with Prey, gameplay first. The story is like the setting and atmosphere is great. The story isn't the best thing in the world. The gameplay mechanics I loved. Mm -hmm. When I finally beat the game, I was like a little underwhelmed. I was like, okay. But the whole game is great. That's one of, that's. Neo is my favorite. Prey is my second favorite game of the year so far. Still haven't played Zelda yet. Have but you yeah. played Resident Evil 7? Yeah, that was great too. That okay. was really good too. Such but, a uh, good fucking game. Prey is phenomenal. I I, I, I I like tweeted about this, but like, yeah, Prey is a combination of like Bioshock, Deus Ex. I fucking love Bioshock. You know, it's it's really similar. You're going, you're exploring an area. Your, your objectives have multiple ways you can do it. Yeah. I explored the entire spaceship before I like finished the story. So I like broke some of the sequences. I the love explore like yeah. you, you pick everything up. Yep. I hear there's crafting in that game too, right? Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. You can like you collect stuff and you junk items and then you get like materials that you can craft stuff. Fucking love it. You get to a point where you can essentially craft your own level ups. So you can get to a point where you can just immediately level all the awesome. way up. I did that. Like I had fun playing this game because of that. How's the Dead Space vibe too? Because like Great. I love the Dead first Space. like four hours of the game is like hard. Any small yeah. alien can fuck you up. Once you get to the point where you can level the fuck up, then you flip the table. Those are great. Yeah. Those kinds of games, because yeah. Resident Evil 7 is like that. Yeah, yeah. At the beginning, you're fucked, yep. and then it's like, oh, fuck you, I can do whatever yeah. I want. Those so, are great. Prey, I, I can't wait to get I that I loved get Prey, but yeah, I think the ending was underwhelming just because I, exp I, I explored areas in the game that you weren't supposed to get to until you got there with the story. Yeah. So I broke sequences. I, like... Went to go do this uh, this uh, story quest and like I, I all of a sudden it said you completed like ten objectives <laughs> and it's like oh okay whoops same thing happened with Fallout Three I explored all of Fallout Three did all the side missions yeah, before yeah, I yeah. beat the thing and then I ended up skipping a huge part of the story sequence <laughs> but I like games that let you do that so yeah Prey, Prey. I strongly recommend it okay. I bought it for forty bucks it's probably gonna be like thirty bucks I'm gonna get it when I get home um I just played Wolfenstein Old Blood. I played, How is that? I played New Order. I like Old Bud, I guess, even more because there is no cutscenes. It is just straight, like, 
there's still a, it's still first person telling a story, but it is so much more gunplay, less bullshit. I liked it I a lot. loved the story of the I new thought, order. I thought the story was good. What man. is what is I guess the plot of the old one? It's a prequel, so it's like in, so back still in World War Two. It's still it's still like a slight alternate history. It's like 1946, but it's like you are going to Castle Wolfenstein to mm-hmm. like steal to like steal plans is or Mecha something. Hitler in it. There not Hitler, but there's like zombies and demons. Eh, so cool. it's fun. I recommend it. That was another small digital download game. I had fun. Um, new Order is a really good game. Yeah, it's a great game. I played Halo Combat Evolved. Josie and I did co-op. Uh, it was my first time actually playing Halo for the story. What? I never, what? yeah. Anytime I played Halo with friends before, we would skip cutscenes. Dude, I got too into Halo. Oh, like yeah? I read all the books. Okay, yeah. I was talking with my other friend. Fall of books. hey, Halo Fall of Reach, legitimately good book. All right, there you go. So I just play. I played Halo One. Yeah. For the longest time, for the twenty years I played Halo, uh-huh. seven, sixteen years, I thought the Covenant came from Halo. I thought that was their plan. <laughs> I did. I didn't know until I'm no. Like, I didn't know until this month that Halo you was piece its of own shit. was its own thing. That humans and look, Covenant. you don't understand the rich lore of no, the Halo I series. I didn't. How the pre- precursors, the people before, made the Halos to kill the flood. But yeah. you got to let the flood out, and the Covenant believes that God says that they need to take over the planet. Yeah. So they're going to use the Halo to kill everyone. I didn't know any of that. Oh man. Yeah. It's good. I'm on Halo dumb. 2. I'm excited to see where the story goes. Oh, no. The story of Halo 2 is dog shit. Hey, what, you know, you're still playing. Hey, you can dual wield. Halo 2, you still, can, hey, Halo I, 2 still has, like, the worst ending of a video you game You can ever. dual wield in Halo 2. I don't know if you heard that. It's pretty oh, cool. Oh, I've played it. It's pretty cool. Me and my friends used to... That was back on the original Xbox when you could land play shit. Yeah. So we'd all bring our Xboxes over to my friend's house and, like... Set them all up and you know, yeah, yeah, we sixty did that. people yeah, we on all Oh, that yeah. shit was so much fun. It was good. What um, else do you have to recommend? I played. I'm not. It's not necessarily recommendations. This is why I played recently. Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. I liked the aesthetic of it. I thought. I, I thought like the line of the humor it was doing. I mean, it's dated. It, it came out in 2012. It is a little, a little too much like internet humor. Oh yeah, but I need like, to go back and, and play that on PS. But like the aesthetic of it, like fucking give me more neon games. I yeah. thought it was cool. I, I liked it better more than Far Cry Three. You might like Trials of the Blood Dragon, oh, which yeah, is yeah. that um Tri- the Trials game that they made like yeah. that. Speaking of, yeah, hey, sorry to cut yeah, yeah. in. Can we talk really quick about? Have you seen the stuff for Far Cry Five? Yeah, I think I'm like I'm excited to see oh. gameplay first. I love Far Cry. I played all of Far Cry Three. Yeah. I, I never got the trophy, the platinum, because there's some co-op shit that you yeah. you literally cannot do by yourself. Yeah. So I've hey, if you want to do that, hit me up. But <laughs> I have the platinum in Far Cry Four, which yeah. whatever. Far Cry Five is going to take place in Montana, and you're fighting a cult. Yeah. Sign me the fuck up. Other game recently played, Call of War is Gunsl- Gunslinger. I briefly mentioned it. Did you ever play Gunslinger? No, I played the first one. Get it on like PC or PS3. So when that's you, a downloadable one, right? Yeah. So when, when Ubisoft made Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, they yeah. also put out Gunslinger. Gunslinger is made by the people who did Dying Light. Oh. So it has that same like skill trees system. It's an awesome game. It's like it's it's a linear game. You're, it's level based. Yeah. But like it's like a five hour game western. It has that Borderlands like art style. It's just a super fun snappy Ooh. shooter. Ooh. I you don't like the art style board? Well, no, I do, but it just doesn't fit. Okay, so I played Carl Juarez. as we yeah. went over that. Yeah. Then I played the second one, Carl War as the cartel. Yeah. That is not a western. That, That's well, like it's, modern. A, it's a modern yeah. western, yeah. and it was like I don't like this game. Yeah. So when they made Gunslinger, I was like, ah, you know what? I'm done. I had yeah. my phone Carl Juarez. I love that first one, but seeing thinking of that in like that cel shaded style is just kind of like, ugh. I don't it know looks. If that fits. Check, I don't know. It's it's a uh, it's a good game. Can Gunslinger, I still download it? Yeah, I'll check it out. Gunslinger kicks ass. I loved it. I re- I really recommend Gunslinger. Okay. Re- um, and then briefly you mentioned Yakuza Zero. Did you beat that yet? No, I'm. Uh, Yakuza Zero is a great fucking game, but the way I'm playing Yakuza Zero is as the game in between other games, okay. which is yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yo, it's Sunday. I got nothing to do. I'm going to sit down and beat a game that takes 10 to 15 hours, right? Yeah. But if it's like, hey, it's Wednesday night. I just got off work. I made dinner. You know, PPS is on and I need something to do while I'm watching Garrett. Yeah. I'll play a little Yakuza. Yeah. Yakuza is a Yakuza is my, and I hate using this term just because I think it's fucking overused. It's my self tier yeah. game. It's the game I want to play when I just, I need to chill. Yeah. So I can do all the, the main storyline of Yakuza 0 with all the, like the, Crime shit is it's whatever. It's the wacky dumb stuff on the side that is the reason I love Yakuza. Plus, I can you can play Outrun and I love that game. <laughs> good ass, good ass, goofy Japanese games. Persona yeah. Five, Yakuza, Yakuza Kiwami is coming out. In That's Yakuza One. Here, here, here's my review of Yakuza Zero. Uh, I 
bowled three strikes in a row and got a turkey at the bowling alley. So the girl behind the counter who I'm friends with said, I want a free turkey dinner, but they forgot to order turkey. So they got me a chicken dinner. Also, the chicken is still alive, but she used to live on a farm. So she said she can kill the chicken and fry it up for me. But I looked at it and liked it too much. So I got, I kept it alive and I hired him to work as a property manager at my real estate firm. Did you buy that game physical or digital? Physical. Oh, if you have you bought any games? Ever, ever since um, Xbox, I rarely buy digital. I was gonna say if you bought it digital, I don't want to necessarily buy Yakuza Zero, but I was gonna email Ryan and say, hey, I know how to get unlimited PlayStation points. Change your email to unlimited PlayStation points at Hotmail, and then what I will do is I'm gonna request your password. <laughs> So, you know. Oh, yeah, no, uh, that works. That's yeah, a good totally trick. Do that. Anyways. Don't do that. That's probably illegal. We're going to switch to questions and emails. Yo, did I get any emails? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what emails did you get? All right, welcome to the Q&A portion of Neighborhood Game Club. Ryan gave me a lot of insight. You guys missed out. Ryan talked about how he hacked Neopets.com. Nice. So nice. don't tell the cops. You hacked my account? Yeah. Like you hacked it? everyone's account. <laughs> then did you hack Gigapets.com? <laughs> what about Nanopets? Ne I, yeah. Nano. Pets I'm, I'm, incri I'm incriminating myself too much. Petsovernight.com. All right. Um, I have a few emails, but they all suck. So I got my own questions. Okay. Ryan, you're a yeah. doctor. I am a doctor. How early did you plan on being a doctor? You know? I can tell you, okay, so when I was in fifth grade, I was like, I want to do what my dad does. Mm -hmm. And I was pretty much that until about ninth or tenth grade when I started reading EGM. And I was like, I want to do video games. Really wanted to be a video games yeah. journalist. And what happened was at my high school, you had to take a second language and they offered Japanese. Mm -hmm. I signed up for journalism and I signed up for Japanese. My parents were like, you're never going to use that. And without <laughs> asking me, uh -huh. signed me up for Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. And out of just pure resent. Yeah. I passed, that was the only thing I got to see in was Spanish because I didn't care. And so I didn't speak no Spanish and uh, I didn't, I, I got in the newspaper, but I never got the Japanese part. So like I figured oh, I'm not going to do this. So I just kind of went to school and then I'm really good at science yeah. and you know, biology and all that. And so I just you kinda, You win at science. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, do you fucking, I fucking oh. love science. Oh, no. no, so what happened was... <clears throat> uh, for a couple years, I just went through school and was like, I don't know what I want to do, blah, blah, blah. And I got this soul-sucking seasonal job at FTD. What's FTD? They were, that's the FTD are the people you can buy flowers from. Oh, okay. So oh, was, yes, there, yeah. there used to be a call center yeah. in my town that's now closed down. But it was, you know, right before uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. And doing that was like, I never want to work for anyone for the rest of my fuck. I can't oh. do this. Yeah. And my dad, was, it was when I was 22... And I was only a couple credits away from being done with my BA yeah. and having what I needed to get into med school and everything. And it was just like, um, that was the thing. I went to my dad and I said, and I was like, all right, I'm all in. I can't fucking do this ever yeah. again. I can't work a job. Yeah. Uh, I have to be able to do what I want. And he helped me through. And that's that, that was what really pushed me on do. I want to be a doctor. So now you have your own practice, mm -hmm. but you are still a slave to achievements. <laughs> trophies. <laughs> trophies. Yeah. I was going to say, I had a similar revelation working when I worked at a video store mm -hmm. that I was like, I got to, I got to find a way to run my own business or something, <laughs> so we, but it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't doing, I was just going to say, it wasn't doing a mind. It wasn't doing like, Oh, the, the work sucks or yeah. mind numbing job. It wasn't even that. It was the interpersonal, like political bullshit. Yeah. Exactly. It was like, uh, I was just there to stock the shelves and collect money. I, I caused no trouble, yeah. but people were coming in talking about like, oh, did you hear they made so-and-so a manager? Yeah, I don't I don't <laughs> care. Oh, did, you have to wear this apron. Rocco is acting like he doesn't want to wear this apron and it's a problem. He doesn't look happy. I don't, I am, I am, I'm fine. <laughs> you know, it was like, I didn't even want to be involved, but it was all like spending a lot of time on things that weren't important to the job. Yeah. It was so, the exact yeah. same thing for me because I got that FTD job through a temp service. Mm -hmm. um, and it was – at the end of it, they're like, you sold more – because I like – I used to do sales. Yeah. Like I sold cell phones. I sold blah, blah. And they're like, you sold more upsells on any, than anyone else and you've only worked here two months. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I'm good at that. It's like, we want to hire you and we want to give you a raise. Oh, and we want, But we can't because you were hired through a temp service and we're contractually not allowed to give you any more money. Mm -hmm. So you're fired and you can't reapply. <laughs> okay. And that's when I was like, this is all bullshit. Yeah. I can't yeah. do this anymore. Just stupid stuff. Uh, anyways, this, so this question is for everyone. Have you ever been injured playing a game? 
like my oh. thumbs hurt a little bit. With me, this is I've never been like seriously injured, but I remember playing Dead or Alive Four on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Yeah, I've been injured yeah. doing that. And like, <laughs> <laughs> no. So with my, I remember getting so fucking mad at like all these fighting games that end the final bosses yeah. are such bullshit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I remember getting so yeah. mad. I remember I like stood up and got so fucking mad, and like I was just shaking the controller. And then yeah. when I sat back down, for whatever reason, I accidentally sat on like my thumb. And I like bent it back. I like oh. jammed Ooh. my thumb. I, I don't remember. I was just standing up so fucking angry. And then I sat back down. And I sat on my like, hand. Don't know how that happened, but I, I got something like yeah. that actually. You reminded me. Um, it was when I lived in Portland. I had a shitty old couch that my dad gave yeah. me when I moved up there. And it was one of the ones that like the end ones were recliners. Yeah. So I was playing. I don't remember what it was. It was just some shitty game. And I finally beat it. And I, yeah. And I jumped up on my couch and my foot went through the couch into where the metal stuff was, and ah. I sliced the bottom of my big toe What off. game was it? Oh. I cannot fucking, wait. Cut this out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fuck, I can't remember. You lost so much blood that you couldn't remember. No, it was, I didn't have to get stitches, it was bad. I, I duct taped it up. <laughs> I can't fucking remember. What the fuck was I playing? Mm -hmm. yeah. I it was something, yeah. oh! Spider-Man Friend or Foe. Okay, on Xbox 360? Yeah. Okay. It was a foe. Wait, isn't it Friend or Foe? That's the name of the video where it's like... Oh, yeah. What? Spider-Man Friend or Foe is the YouTube video oh, yeah. where a guy's standing naked in a Spider-Man mask and he shakes his legs and you just hear I've the sound. I've never seen that. Oh, no. it's, a, it's a good it's a video. video. Um, it's a really good video. The only thing I could think of yeah. in terms of an injury, mm -hmm. honestly, is... Rock band. Yeah. And uh, oh, okay. drumming to the point of extreme oh, blisters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like whiplash. Okay. Like whiplash. Yeah. And uh, which was great because when they did the Bing Beatles version, yeah. I could legally yell out, I got blisters on my fingers. And it was, you know, I it was think legal. I remember getting a blister on my hand from playing, uh, I think like Super Mario 64. But I remember getting the N64 joypad giving me a blister on my thumb. Mario really? Mario yeah. Mario. Oh, Mario. yeah. I remember taking my N64 controllers to a birthday party, yeah. and it was the biggest mistake of my life because I had no money. Yep. I'd saved up and got all the controllers, and all these fucking losers. Sorry, yeah. can I curse on this? <laughs> uh, that my friend invited yeah. over all did were doing that to win the game, and my all my controllers had like like dangling joysticks yeah. at the end, oh, and it was like all my shit's broken. Shit. Like I don't remember what I did about that. Uh, I don't remember how I resolved that. Maybe I, I think maybe I got a new controller and then. I think I put the old one back in the box and then returned it or yeah. something. Yeah. I, d I must have done some trick. I, I, I I, I've done tricks like that. Oh, I remember yeah. oh, through absolutely. Blockbuster, oh. yeah. through Blockbuster, yeah. before they started taping over everything, labeling their games, if, yeah. I, if I had a PlayStation 1 game that was too scratchy, you'd rent it from Blockbuster. Yep. Oh, I did that yeah. all the time. <laughs> it sent it back, yeah. 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 Good old trick. When you're a kid with no money, yep. you'll come to, you know, yeah. I tricks. never stole or anything, technically. Yeah. Uh, but I always try to come up with tricks to yeah. like if oh, I you tricks, know? Yeah. Just tricks. Yeah, because you know. I mean the the world just dealt me that yeah. I, I'm gonna deal it back. Yeah. My yeah. favorite one with that was I would uh, win shit in contests around town, yeah. Yeah. like Fox or whatever. Yeah. Or like one time I won a Game Boy from my dentist, mm -hmm. and uh, he had a thing like if you prom, you know, if you brush your teeth every night, your parents sign this thing and put it in, and somebody wins a Game Boy Color. Yeah, whoever gets the most teeth pulled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, what I would do is anything that I won that I didn't want, I would take it to Walmart and return it. It's like, oh, I don't have the receipt. Yeah. At that time, they oh, oh, yeah. I've done and that just, before. Oh, I've done that time. before. I remember winning a copy of Call of Duty for, like, the Wii. For, like, the Wii U, and I was never gonna play it, so I returned yeah. it to Walmart, because I said my grandma got me the wrong game. Yeah. Like, okay. Store credit. Store credit. Yeah, you know, a little yeah. trick. A little trick. So there you go. You're not hurting anybody. Yeah. Well, that's the question. That's a moral question. Yeah. Returning a game like that, because uh, that that happened to me once. I got a copy of a game that I didn't want. Yeah. I took it to the store, yeah. and I was just like, uh, "Is there anything?" You know. And they gave me store credit, yeah. and I had some people telling me that wasn't cool. Yeah. And then I was thinking to myself, I was like, "Well, uh, but I, I'm giving you something you can sell. Yeah. And you're just giving me credit to." get something else. And that game's already paid if they for were, by the company. Yeah, yeah, I just felt like, it's not like they're handing me cash, yeah. and it's not like the game is fake, yeah. or something they can't yeah. sell. So, I don't know, that's a tough, mm. fuck I mean, it's But then you're still tricking them, yeah. you know? So I mean, it's I great, know. but at least you're not breaking into people's apartments, stealing it's their stuff, that. and pawning it. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And fuck them, they're a big company, fuck them. Yeah, that's right. That's says. also a mentality too, yeah. is, you know.
giant corporations. Uh, the other thing is I do event Horizon Zero Dawn gave me motion sickness. Really? Yeah. I fucking love that game. I, I, I think it's just something it's with really? me and a few people. Like, I even Googled it, but like Horizon Zero Dawn, if I played for a few hours, I would feel nauseous and I'd have to sleep. Really? Wow. I, I, got, I, got, I, had to, I eventually had to buy some pills from CVS, like anti-motion sickness mm -hmm. pills, so I could beat the game. Wow. D there's something with like, with like the frame rate, the narrow FOV, and like the th the thing specifically with Horizon that threw me off is like a combination of have you, have you been playing Horizon? I've played some. So like seven. I've platinumed it. I li I liked wow. it. I liked it, but like so you, when you when you're playing Horizon, you're looking around for things to kill yeah. or whatever. You're looking around. That, so that's one camera speed. Yeah. And then you enter a detective mode. That's a different camera speed. And then say you see something you want to kill, you pull out your bow and arrow, and that's a different camera speed. You shoot the bow, and then it's a different camera speed when you're in combat. Yeah. And for whatever reason, controlling it, oh. and then imagine doing that on top of a horse. For whatever reason, all these like multi things, yeah. it just fucked with my head. It's not a horse. It's a robot horse. One. Whatever. Uh, yeah. No, it's not. No, there's whatever. no horses One. in that game. There's the only things you can ride are like there's a gazelle. Yeah, a horse. And there's like Close it's enough. not. It's a horse. All right. Well. It's a horse. Not a horse. Uh, I don't know. That game gave me motion sickness. PSVR and Resident Evil 7 gave me motion sickness. PSVR is something I really want to get into, but something about the way my... So I have astigmatism. Yeah. And for some reason, it only seems to really manifest when I'm looking at something electronic. Yeah. Really? Interesting. I don't, I have it's the weirdest thing. Too, but it's a um, light thing or something. I, it's got to be. I don't know. And so these, I don't need them. I could, I could oh my God. fine right Never, now. Wow, so handsome. But like, there's a screen behind us. Yeah. And so... That looks a little blurry, oh, okay. and but like sure. that, that sign that says computers up there, yeah. fine. It's a little blurry because I've been wearing them, but it's just easier to keep them on my face, yeah. especially since I'm on my phone. All and because you're a doctor, it's right behind me. Okay. Yeah. And because you're a doctor, um, it makes you look smarter. That's yeah. true. It makes These you look are yeah. Versace, yeah. Versace. Um, but PSVR, if I try to wear it without my glasses, it keeps doing this thing where every thirty seconds I need to push it back on my face because yeah. it gets out of vision. Uh, but if I wear my glasses, they get pushed to my face. Yeah. So yeah, I really. want to play PSVR. I've I've adjusted the headset uh, to a point that it doesn't push yeah. back on me. Maybe the only I my friend owns a comic book store in Medford, and mm -hmm. he like he's got a little side thing where it's like you can rent it out. So I've tried okay. it. Maybe I just need to mess with the fucking. Yeah, There's stuff definitely. Hey, you can make it work. Okay. Yeah. Everyone I know with glasses has had no problem. I, I eventually want to get get my own PSVR. Yeah. They'll be Especially discounted. Just, They'll if be discounted. nothing, <laughs> just for to finally play Resident Evil. Uh, in, yeah. In, yeah. I got a question. Um, so a new thing I'm gonna do on my show is uh, I'm gonna look pull up Game Facts uh, polls uh, from ten years ago. Hell yeah! So this is a Game Facts poll of the day from May 25th, 2007. I used to vote Ooh. in every single yeah. one of them. Okay, those. here's the question: okay. Which non Nintendo character would you like to see appear in Super Smash Brothers Brawl? So here are the options. Tell okay. me who you'd like to see in the game. Okay. Cloud Strife. Okay. Uh, Chrono. Okay. Dante. Master Chief. Mega Man. Uh, Ryu Hayabusa, Sonic the Hedgehog, that'd oh, be crazy, yeah, yeah. are Sub-Zero. So, of those, four of these characters already appeared in Super Smash Bros. The number one person in that poll was Cloud Strife. What year was this? Uh, 2007. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want to put myself in a 2007. 2007. For me, I was obsessed with Skate. I, I mean, my pick would... Wait, yeah. so... Is the question? It doesn't have Who to be on that list. Who would you have voted? It doesn't for have it. to be on that. Doesn't oh, have to be on the oh, list. Because Cloud list, would have been mine yeah. regardless. Off that list, yeah. I would have voted for Sub Zero. I would have far none. I would have voted Cloud anyway. <laughs> My is non Nintendo characters. The person I would have voted for in two thousand seven. Ezio. Ezio from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Because I was having. Oh no. Yeah. Ezio wasn't out in two thousand seven. That would have been all Tyre. That's a good answer though. Uh oh no. You know what game I was obsessed what? with in 2007? What? I would have been a big daddy from Bioshock. Bioshock. Bioshock was my game of the year that year. What? Okay, so yeah. if they do come up with a new with a new Smash Brothers, who who would you still like to see in the game that hasn't been included yet? Non Nintendo uh, character. Not, well, S Simon Belmont uh, okay, from Castlevania, Castlevania. Yeah. with yeah. the whip and the holy yeah. water and the crosses. That's my pick of someone who hasn't been in. Yeah, Simon yeah. would be good. Yeah. Yeah. For the whip. That's and... classic to yeah. me. Like, I'm trying that, to think that's... like super old classic, like what would I like to see? Does it have to be non-Nintendo? Uh, no, what, 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 who would you like to see? Yeah, yeah. Who would you pick? I can't think of it. It's one. funny, I would love, I've oh, loved, I, I, I'm so happy Ryu Ry Ry was eventually in Smash yeah. Bros. I never downloaded him though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh happy. dude, it's so great. <laughs> I really want them he to came do out, a Switch version yeah. with right all of I think they will. I think I think I think they will be put in, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think like what I used to play the most. What like big iconic character still isn't in it Smash Brothers? Persona character. <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> no, if I'm thinking back to that, like 
the Nintendo Super Nintendo yeah. Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim, oh, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, that'd be, that'd that's, be a so good, good. that's a good choice. That's yeah. a good choice. Yeah. That's a good choice. That's so good. Yeah. I think uh, the, the the classics I can think of, you know, yeah. I, I said Simon Belmont. I think Ryu Hayabusa from yeah, yeah from Ninja yeah. Gaiden yeah, would actually cool. be a great choice. They already put Snake in. I can't like think of any. Um. Yeah. There's no iconic like Tekken character. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. yeah, that'd be yeah, the big one. Yeah, Crash, Crash. Crash. I still I've said it before and I'll say it again. They made PlayStation All Stars and Battle a, Royale, yeah, didn't have and there's no Crash. I mean, let Fuck that, that sink in. Yeah, no Crash Bandicoot. So yeah, I, I would vote. What, I would what? vote. I would vote Crash Bandicoot. If you're gonna do that, especially with fighters, I think having uh, Sub Zero would be cool, but you can't put Mortal Kombat with them. If you're gonna put a, like a fighter, Ryu yeah. is a good one. But you know what would be really cool is this is gonna be dumb and no one would like it. Put bad Mr. Frosty from Clay Fighter in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go, man, Clay Fighter. No. Clay Fighter. Uh, and then I did Fuck have you. I did have two uh, email questions. Okay. Uh, so one question is from Riku from Finland. He hey. asks, uh, Japanese and Western games have differences. Do you feel that European and American games have differences? The only thing that yes. I can think of yeah. is like, there's like a video game renaissance in Poland with the like The Witcher and like mm. I mean this isn't a great example but like Shadow Warrior but there's all these like well, games being developed in Poland now. It's not just now. Poland. It's yeah. also is it is it Norway or Sweden where like yeah. IO is from Denmark. Yeah, yeah. Den uh, yeah. Copenhagen. So yeah. Uh, you got you know uh, fucking the guys who we used to play Payday Two all the time. Yeah, yeah. They're in Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's any different from Western games because they're still part of yeah. the West. But you can definitely tell a lot more games are coming out of that Nordic area. Yeah. The Witcher is the yeah. big one. Yeah. Metro 2033. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff like that. I mean, I, again, like, I don't know 100%, but I feel like well, with, with Poland, there seems to be a lot, like, passion first. These are still companies who want to make money, but, like, the the the, 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 the ethics behind the people who did The Witcher, it's like, yeah. they put so much shit and content into their games as opposed to, like, just... Yeah. But the question, them. is there any difference between European games and American games? No. I think that... The, that if you told me the guys who made The Witcher lived in fucking Montana, yeah, I would be like, okay, I'd go with you. You say they're from Poland, sure, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of feel it personally yeah. in like Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, it, those guys it's, are Amsterdam. It's kind yeah. of yeah. like there's more of a. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. Um, like an emotional kind of sincerity. Like I feel like yeah. stuff made in America. Can be emotional, but kind of has a wink and a smirk yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. And stuff from Europe, uh, that, like like playing Horizon Zero Dawn, it's like, here's this thing that just happened. It's Isn't sincere. this sad? Yeah, it's and weird. it's almost like, it. I'm not even trying to insult it. Yeah. It's almost, it almost comes off a little hokey to us because we don't have anything that sincere. Yeah. Um, but same with like uh, heavy rain. Yeah, you can, you oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's you know something happened to him, and I'm so sad, and it's ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. You know, they, yeah. it, there's kind of a uh, 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 the emotional stuff yeah. is a little more dense. Yeah, I don't know if that makes but sense. But one of the one of the biggest fucking winky smirky games comes from fucking Europe, and that's GTA. That's developed yeah. in San Diego. What? It's GTA. I no, Red it's is. from fucking England. The the, the GTA Five was. Because I know, I know Red Dead is developed in like Rockstar San Diego. Yeah, they have more than one place. Yeah. But, yeah. but so, Rockstar yeah, no, no, England no. is like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. GTA 3, yeah, GTA 4, yeah, yeah. GTA Vice yeah. City. Yeah. But that's not, to say, that's not yeah. to say Europe is humorless yeah, 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 yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. But no, I honestly, unless the, the big thing is Japan versus the West, but when it comes to a game, I don't really fucking care. It, it comes back to the question no, you had yeah. about. You know, gameplay versus where it looks. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck where it yeah. comes yeah. from as long as it's fun. I don't know yeah. where many of these, like the ones you're bringing up, I had no story. idea until now. Where something it like, like Heavy Rain is yeah. not what I would classify as fun, but I love Heavy Rain. Yeah. It's yeah. more it's uh, unique. Yeah, yeah. until Dawn is like that. That, you know, uh, that guy's games, uh, uh, David, Cage. David Cage's games, are my guilty pleasure. Because <laughs> I play them and I laugh at yeah. them, but yeah. I have a blast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just recently, I haven't bought it yet. It was on, it was on clearance at Walmart, but I got Beyond Two Souls for five bucks. Oh, yeah. Is that game good? Oh, for five, I mean, for for five, five bucks, bucks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, same, I had the same review of that as Heavy Rain. You know, it was like melodramatic and I was laughing at... I was laughing at... Beyond Two Souls, a lot harder than Heavy Rain. Okay. Uh, but I still had a great time. I, I can't wait to play, uh, what's the new one that's coming? Detroit, uh, I Am a Robot. Detroit, oh, yep. yeah, Detroit, Robot Man. Yeah. Because um, that is one of my favorite things is um, 
detective games. Yeah. We didn't yeah. talk about it on my thing, but I just platinum murdered soul suspect. I that I heard that game came out and flopped. Yes, it mm. is. Um, is it good or bad? For achievements, it's kind of boring because it's mostly everything's tied to collectibles. So yeah, I had to use know. a guide as just a detective story, which can be played in like one sitting. Yeah, I bought it for ten bucks on SquareEnix.com. I liked it. It was a cool. Hey, you're a detective and you're dead. Now you're a ghost. Solve your murder. Do you know where that was developed? Okay. Is that European American? The Square Enix. Oh, okay. There you go. So wherever they are. Where, wherever. Mm -hmm. So there you go. We don't know, but Europe keep making. Also, games. play Murdered Soul Suspect. Uh, and then Kevin, not this Kevin. What? I didn't I had a question. I don't know any of this, but they said, "Who's better, Makoto or An?" In regards to Persona uh, Five. On is the only good choice. Makoto is a good second. Uh, the thing, you know, we were talking about Persona 5, how you don't get it sucked into yeah. it. The one, um, and I say these all ironically. Who you say is the good one? On. This is On. Nice. Okay, okay. So let's Show see. Who's Makoto? On. Okay, and then Makoto. Put that in. Let's see. Okay, so on, Makoto is a uh, brunette. Let me let nice. me fill you in on their stories. <laughs> on nice. is half Swedish, half Japanese. Yeah. Okay. She's a model. She's oh, okay. a not a grav, not a what? Just idol? Is that? Yeah. She's not a gravure idol. Is that when they're sexy? Yeah. No, yeah. she's a normal one. Okay. Okay. And so her whole storyline is how she just is naturally beautiful, so she never had to try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she just gets these jobs, and she loves pizza and sweets. Yeah. And, you know, and she's like. People, and so her whole story, hair every girl? every character you have these what are called confidants, which are like storylines that you you build the social links for, yeah. Yeah. and that's the whole dating sim kind yeah. of thing of it. Uh, her whole storyline is that there's a new model that like she oh. asks her a bunch of questions, and then she turns out to be a backstabbing two timing bitch. Who on? No, not on the one that's fucking with her. The new one. She's oh. like trying to take her job, and she's all mad because On's never really had to try for anything. Yeah. So On's like this cool like yo whatever I'm hot and like What's I Makoto love cake. Then? Makoto. Is class president okay. for third year, your second year, so she's okay. a year above you. And her sister works for the police. She's a head oh, investigator. That's sketchy. Who's, and she's this is not a spoiler, she's you a know rat. this because of the way the story is. She's the one, Persona 5 opens in yeah. the middle, yeah. and there's a flashback yeah. for a lot of it. So her sister is, is the, the one investigating you? Yes, because oh. you're the Phantom Thieves. I'll go with and the model. And so she's like a hardcore, like, yeah. I, I'm no nonsense. That sounds no fun. I'll go with the model. Kevin, who do you vote for? Oh wait! I don't know anything. Here's one here. thing. There, that, you go. there is one other thing though. The the reason Makoto's a little bit cooler in one aspect. Their persona. They're you know when you're fighting yeah. your ghosts. Yeah. Uh, Ons is like this kind of dominatrixy, uh, like girl in a dress with a whip. Yeah. Makoto's Hell is a motorcycle. Yeah. Like an action motorcycle. Yeah. With a face. I'll go with the uh, Catwoman shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, yeah. she dresses up like a cat. And her code word is Panther, okay. whereas Makoto's code name is Queen, and she dresses like Ghost Rider. Mm. I'll go with the, so yeah. Makoto is a very close second, but yeah, On okay. is much better. So there you go. That is your answer. You know, I haven't played the game, and if but you I trust disagree, Ryan. you're fucking stupid. Doctor, especially Doris. hey, close up on me. Can you do a close up yeah, on me? Yeah, I'll do digital. Okay. I'll do digital, a digital zero. Digital look up. Real shitty. If you, if you picked Haro, you're a piece of shit. Okay, oh. she's garbage. Yeah, she's. Fucking garbage. Okay. I don't actually care. All right, I'll end the digital zoom. Now I don't it's back care to full screen. <laughs> well, there you go. Neighborhood Game Club number 21, Dr. Ryan Reed. Yo! How was the experience? I'm really, uh, I had a lot of fun. You I gave away your, about, you gave away your Neopets I got to yell crimes. about video games. Yeah. I can finally confess, uh, confess my Neopets crime, so I got that off my chest. People in the comments, I want you to, I want you to comment, you know, is, is Ryan guilty I, or not guilty? Am I, am I going to Hell's Pit or yeah. am I going to Shangri-La? Yeah, you know. When my crimes Judge are, Ryan. are Judge Ryan. juggled, will yeah. Jack Jester, Jake yeah. Jester, uh, or will I open the riddle box? And yeah. I can't remember any more ICP shit. It's okay. <laughs> You 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 got you know you hacked a lot of years and then you got hacked in the end so it's all all right yeah even out that's it I'm gonna play more video games E3 is coming out what's what do you hope is gonna be announced at E3 your number one thing what are you hoping for Far Cry Five is the thing I'm looking at the most I know that the reveal is before that but the idea of Far Cry in Montana and you're fighting a satanic cult or a, or all it's, right uh, it's whatever. locked in you can't get excited for anything nope. else that's the only game that's you can it. play from E3 what are you excited sorry HD Xenoblade Chronicles oh ooh oh do you think they're gonna bring that up? oh Xenoblade Chronicles two coming yeah why out. why would they not that'd but be great I want them to announce to. that I don't think they will but if EA announces Skate Four oh, Skate Four oh my god I want Skate Four that would be great other than that shit yeah Rocco? Skate, Skate Four. Uh, everything that I would want in games is in the works right now. Yeah. 
FF7 remake, Shenmue mm-hmm. 3, the new Mario looks incredible. Yeah, there'll be stuff like Everything that. I could ask for as a surprise thing is in the works. Yeah. So honestly, this the time Matrix around The Matrix Online 2. Yeah. yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> but uh so the only things I can think of are any form of new Metroid project. Oh, yeah. oh my Give god. Give me a they legit new it? Metroid yeah. 2D, yeah. 3, whatever. Yeah. Give me a new Metroid or in all honesty, Give me, uh, yeah, in terms of new stuff, uh, you know, there's a new Kojima game. We already know that's on yeah. the way. Uh, so Give in terms of new stuff, it's that. Death Stranding. Yeah, that would be 2020. cool. But honestly, I really want, I want, I know it's supposed to happen. Yeah. HD Shenmue. Yeah, I think that's I want to replay that's, all that's those. Unlock. And can we get Virtual Console on, on the Switch, Switch already? Yeah. Because that thing, I'm taking it everywhere. Yeah. And I want my whole Nintendo library yeah. on it. That's it. I want to see... Hopefully they'll talk about Resident Evil 2 remake. I want to see more oh, about. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to see more about uh, Mordor: Shadow of War. Oh, yeah. they already showed a gameplay trailer. That's oh, did like, they? Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks tight. I did it. There you go. I got what I wanted. All right, now we have to have our overblown reactions. Oh my god. Man, I can't believe that Kojima pulled his dick out on stage. <laughs>